Good evening, everyone. Good day. Good afternoon. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. Good afternoon, Del. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello. Okay. So I lowered the volume of the music just a little bit. I'm gonna put it back afterwards. So, uh, welcome everyone. I'm grumpy because working late then I have to go to grocery shopping. Oh, I hate grocery shopping. I know. <laughs> Same. But I do love uh, goodies shopping, right? So I bought some stuff from the game store and I'm actually going to do a small unboxing. Um, and yeah, basically after that we're going to play some Warcraft. I need two more levels for my Paladin and uh, yeah, after that we'll see. Uh, but yeah, so I hate grocery shopping as well. There's so many people and everyone is like, you know, really stressing out and everything and they're just behaving not well. Let's just say it like that. Um, okay, awesome. I hope that uh, you're seeing everything properly. The cam is okay with the lighting, I hope. I'm seeing the camera being a little bit, it's a little bit too light, I think, but uh, let me... Uh, let me change the lighting just a bit to lower it down. Yeah, my head is too white, right? <laughs> hey, Popke. Hey, welcome, welcome. Good evening. Okay, awesome. Okay, good. So the game store that I always go to is actually near me. I actually live near a um, um, like a, a mall, shopping mall, and it's called Gates. I, I I really like to go there all the time, uh, and I like to buy stuff, right? Uh, especially like toys and, and stuff. And uh, I actually uh, am going to, as you can see, I already have like some of the things already, um, but I need to redecorate definitely uh, and put some other different lighting. And I want to put a lot of these a lot of these toys as well. Uh, so yeah, basically. Uh, oh, so I got uh, this one. So this is a Warcraft. Uh, sorry, not Warcraft. This is a Witcher statue. Uh, dandelion. Let me check if how is the lighting better. Yeah. So let me open this up and I'm gonna show you the uh, the actual toy inside. Toss a coin. <laughs> oh dude, I don't have a. Oh, actually, yeah, I actually have. So toss a coin. Oh, valley of plenty. <laughs> oh, awesome. Okay. I like the boxes as well. You can see it's like nice and red inside. Ooh. So there, of course, they're always uh, tied with several um, plastic wires. So let me get that. Okay, you gotta be careful. Since some of these, some of these have been really tied up. Okay. Uh, got the leg one. I got the. Let's see, do we have any more? No? Okay, we're good. Oh, wow. Actually looks some very nice. Very, very nice. And I like the, like, the base itself, like it has the, uh, the Witcher sign. There's nothing below, but, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty nice pretty nice one I like it I like these because they're very detailed um, like very very detailed let me check if I can make it closer to the camera all right the design is actually done very nice and yeah pretty pretty nice 
like out of a lot of these witcher statues um like this one like really is different from the others just because of the colors right the purple color i i really love it so i mean and blue as well but like purple dominates so uh it's actually great so i'm gonna put it here and i'm gonna get rid of the box immediately because the boxes always make hell of my my life in the apartment so when I change the apartments, I know I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna have a lot of problems like transferring these, but uh, yeah. Um, let's uh, let's actually do the other one. Okay. We got Shani. And very nice packaging. Uh, she actually has a lot of these wires attached. So, but she also has a lot of details on herself, like a lot of small pieces. So I really need to be very careful. Okay, I think I'm good. Oh wow, I really like it. It's actually very nice, yeah, as you can see. It's shiny. I'm not sure. Uh, I remember some of the quests, but I, it, I really haven't played a lot of Witcher, so I'm not sure if she's also a sorceress. I think she is. Oh, very nice. A lot of details. I like the coloring. The coloring is done very nicely. So, yeah, it's pretty good. She's basically reading a book of spells, I think. Yeah, and I love her haircut. It's awesome. And you can actually see she has a very nice amulet. Right? Very good. It's cool. Well. Oh, who was this I missed? Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Uh, so this is Shani, right? I think she's a sorceress, right? Nice boots. Yeah, the boots are awesome. Like, look at this. The boots are actually very nice. And I love the details. If I was a woman, I would definitely wear uh, these kind of boots. I, I, I really love, like, long boots like these. So, Dandelion was the first one, right? So that second one is Shani. Yep, Shani. Yep. I'm I'm so surprised that the, the details are amazing. Okay. So let's go with this one. Who do we have? Oh, we have Geralt, right? Let's uh, let's untie him. And actually there is a part that needs to be added. Okay. So I think it's this. Oh okay. This one is very, very nice. Darren, you can still wear him. <laughs> Don't let being a guy hold you back. Ah, I. <laughs> you're right, though. You're right. You're absolutely right. Those are all stereotypes of the society. Yeah, so this one, again, very nice, very detailed. I like the armor. He has all the swords. I mean, this is amazing. This is amazing. All right? Nice boots as well. Very nice. I like the pouch. 
And yeah, basically all the weapons. I think the sword is a little bit curved. But yeah, very nice. Extremely nice, right? And the name of that is... So, I mean, of course it's Gerald, but... Uh, okay, so the armor is uh, Grandmaster Feline or Felon. F-E-L-I-N-E. -E. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Yep, yep, okay. It's pretty sweet, I'll take two. <laughs> hey, Mac, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I love the details, the buckles on the shin guards, the rivets. Yeah, it's, 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 it's amazing. Yeah, very, very detailed, very detailed. Please disregard the sword being curved a bit. It's plastic, but yeah, like awesome details actually. Yeah, but like these details, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that needs to be a command. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, yeah, I'll definitely do that. I, I still haven't had. Uh, the opportunity to, um, uh, to to set up those commands, but I, I'll do it definitely. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Zdravo friendos, I'm alive. Hey, Northern, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Thanks for joining. How's everything? Uh, like, is everything like, you know, back to the way it was with the electricity and everything? Yeah. Okay, awesome. That's number three. Let me get uh, this box squared away. I'm gonna make a mess. Okay. Alrighty. And here we have the name it's Regis our friendly neighborhood vampire all right oh and he has a lot of other utilities here to to be added oh very nice very nice yay northern yeah things are great they have power and redug the trench in my yard so no more basement flooding oh my gosh thank god thank god northern i'm so happy to hear that Mother Nature decided to provide me with a beautiful ruffled grouse for dinner? Goose? Grouse? Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Really happy that everything is fine now. We, we got used so much to electricity, to internet, to everything, like, when it's not working. If it was like a global thing, even for an hour, I think the planet would be on fire to be honest sweet oh yeah that's that's absolutely awesome uh okay so let's be very gentle here okay definitely gonna gonna need to use the vacuum cleaner but tomorrow now it's like 10 26 pm so Let's remove the parts, and then I'll show you the parts afterwards. Okay. Wait, does he have anything else? Let me check. Uh, no, there's nothing. It just, it's just, it's a little bit... Uh, Okay, here we go. Here we go. So again, this is Regis, our friendly neighborhood vampire. Sorry for the white light too much on the faces. I, I need to, to figure that out. But uh, yeah, I'm going to show his body and like the, uh, the clothing and everything, like all the details. Again, very nice, very detailed. All right. Oh, he has a potion. <laughs> Awesome. It's even a red one. Uh, actually, well, actually, I think it's blood, right? But 
who knows. Uh, I like his bag a lot. Very nice bag. And the pouch. And let me see what, what this is like. Oh, this is a chain. I thought it was a name, it's just a chain. Grouse? Uh, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing grouse. It's also called a partridge. It's kind of like a wild chicken. Pictures in check Discord if anyone is interested. Oh, definitely. Uh, Regis should have like parts for human form and the vampire form also. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So first I'm showing the human form. Let me see if the face is gonna be seen differently, like from a different angle. I hope, I hope that everyone can see now. Like the face is also very detailed. Okay. And hi, Mac and Dell. Um, okay, so let's remove his parts. Actually, let me check, can this be removed? Uh, oh, it's actually the whole hand, okay. Awesome. I hope everyone can see. Uh, it goes like this. And then have it like this, and then the head. Whoops! Off with the head. <laughs> Lol. Uh, okay. Oh, awesome. So these are like the other parts where he is in his vampire form. Yeah. If I move it to here, it's actually it looks actually a bit better. All right. With his claws and everything, it looks nice. Actually pretty nice. I like it. Like the head is very detailed. Yeah, with his teeth. Right? I don't like too much the vampire form in Witcher. I mean I like it in terms of it's actually like it's cool and everything, but just not a fan. So, all of us got used to, you know. Human forms of vampires. That for me that's cool, right? Blade style, right? <laughs> uh, those look great. Yeah, Mac. Yeah, they are, they're actually awesome. I'm really amazed with the quality. And uh, actually, Popke here from the chat, he, uh, I, I, I'm, I think he has like all of the ones. Like there were like one or uh, two or three waves of like several of these uh, dolls. Like I know that there are like two types of Geralt's. Um, uh, and some other characters as well, so he can basic he can maybe provide more details in the chat, but yeah, they actually look awesome um, So I'm actually gonna replace all the parts Just leave him as a human for now Um Okay, and then the whole hand. Okay. Yeah. He's back in his human form with his little potion or, or blood or whatever. I have the ones from the first series, Popke. Oh, nice. Cool. Like, how many series are there? Like, two or three, right? Um, and actually, so let me just get rid of this box. So now that I've shown you these, right, I think it would be good to show you like all the others that I actually have. Um, Geralt, Yen, and Siri from first series, and Regis from the second one. Yeah, it should be two or three series. Okay. Oh, Yennefer. I don't have Yennefer at all. So let me show you like the other uh, dolls that I have, right? Um, so this is Siri. I really like this one, right? It's it, it's in her battle stance. Again, very nice details on the armor. And the sword, and I like the, the whole pose. It's actually very nice. Oh, thank God he's wearing pants this time. Dude, I'm, I, I'm wearing pants all the time. What are you talking about? 
Oh, it's actually very nice. I really like this one. And I think, yeah, th there's another Siri, I think. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, these look awesome. I was lucky enough. I was actually looking for something different. And, yeah. That one is badass. Yeah, it, it looks amazing. Again, the lighting is not perfect. So, sorry for that. But, uh... I hope that you can see enough, right? Um, yeah, like the details are awesome and she's done beautifully. Like really beautiful. Right? Like these these details on the on the on the leg for the uh, for the armor pieces for your knees. This is awesome. Yeah, and the sword. It's very cool. Right? So it's her. And... Let me check if... Uh, where is the other one? Uh, 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 um, just a moment. I actually have one that I haven't unboxed for a long time, for months. Uh, please tell me you're going to save this VOD so I can watch later. Work is being worky and I'm missing a bunch of these. Oh yeah, definitely, Del. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely save this and actually make a highlight and download it, probably put like on my YouTube channel. So yeah, yeah definitely, please don't worry about it. Take your time and, uh, you know, hopefully the grocery shopping goes fast and, and work as well. So, oh wow, these are so tight. Okay. Do you have any other? Yeah, they have for the hands. Okay, good. Okay, so we have Geralt, and it's in his Ursin form, which I think is like a bear one, right? Uh, yeah, Ursin. Grandmaster Ursin. Alright, so let me put it here so that you can see. Again, a lot of nice details, small details, and I love this. I actually like this more than the other one, the, the felon one, but it's actually very nice. You should upload all that to YouTube, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. Hey, check. Welcome, man. Welcome. Also, hi, Tails, and hi, Norton. Hi, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Hey, welcome, Jack. Welcome. Um, dude, I really do need to do those commands. Um, for all of y'all who are streaming as well. So, really sorry that I don't have that. But uh, definitely uh, check out Check and check out Mac. I know that they are streaming. Not sure about everyone else. I know that Northern streamed before. Um, but, yeah. Definitely check out those guys, they are awesome. Uh, yep. Again, two swords. And the amulet. I love the amulet, yeah. It's his amulet. Very nice armor. I like the coloring and everything, and it goes with the swords. I really like this. I like this uh, northern style, right? Yeah, Mac. Yeah, man. It's awesome. I mean, the other one is also great in terms of, of, of details, but to be honest, like I, I really like this one much more. Like, if I would wear something, I would definitely wear something like this. And it would be also nice to actually look like this and be fit like this, but unfortunately, at this moment, not. But yeah, th this armor is cool. All right. Actually, why am I doing it? Let me just move the OBS window here so that I can actually look also at the camera. Um, I usually put it on my on my monitor to the left, to the sorry, to the right, but uh, yeah, it's actually easier. I'm not thinking. Yeah, it's actually very nice. I, I, I adore these pouches. 
uh, when I was playing Skyrim, I loved uh, there was a mod, uh, and it was adding like pouches and armor and everything. It was so good. I love having pouches. I love this. In my opinion, that is the best looking armor for Geralt. Yep, yep, Popkaz. I, I absolutely agree, man. Yep. I can't wait till I have Elon net and I can actually watch streams. All audio only right now. Yeah, sorry, Northern. No worries. I'm, I'm not sure, like, if it's going to be possible to see anything from YouTube, but I'll definitely have this up uh, so that no one loses it. So, yeah, at some time, um, you know, whenever, whenever possible, someone can, can actually take a look, right? Yeah, heart. Yeah, of course, Del. Absolutely. My pleasure. Love it, too. Okay. Yeah. So really cool. Really, really, really cool. Right. Okay. Let me show you. Yeah. Henry Cavill Witcher is cuter. Just saying. I agree. I love, uh, I love Henry Cavill. He is awesome. He is absolutely awesome. Okay. Let me show you some of the other ones that I also have. And since I know a lot of you are uh, uh, love Elder Scrolls, let me go through the Elder Scrolls first. So, so the first one. This is actually, I think, the boss from. Uh, what's it called? Asylum Sanctorum or? No, it's actually Halls of Fabrication, right? So I got it from the Collector's Edition from Morrowind, I think. Yeah, it's 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 the main boss from... Um, I think... Wait, who's the main boss from... Yeah, yeah, it's from Halls of Fabrication. Halls of Fabrication. That big boss. Right? And it also looks awesome. I mean, it has a lot of details. Right? It's very cool, very cool, very cool. Do you see the upcoming House Flipper DLC? Uh, oh, that was for Dell? I don't know about the Dell, I, I need to go back to uh, Elder Scrolls. He got a teeny tiny head, yeah, <laughs> teeny tiny head, but these hands deal a lot of DPS. Sentinel Urkuma, uh, Rukmas? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. <laughs> Cyberpunk. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the... Wh whatever the name, like General something. General something. Uh, the last boss in um, uh, Halls of Fabrication. Stay breathtaking and keep flipping? No, you're breathtaking. <laughs> Okay, so this is the one, this is number one. The other one I got from the collector's edition for Somerset, I think. Unfortunately, I, I, I didn't get the previous ones. I, I got into the game only like two years ago. But I think this is Mephala, right? I think it's Mephala. Yeah, too spidery. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Mephala. It's still a very nice statue. Very nice statue, but uh, yeah. Pretty good. Right? And the thing that you can remove is this uh, this staff, right? Everything else is static. So, Assembly General is the Dwarven boss. Exactly, Mac. Thank you. So, this is the Assembly General. Whoops. Yep, Assembly General. He is menacing, really. Okay. Now let me turn on the lights. I'm about to turn on the light in my uh, Zelda lamp, magical lamp. Um, I think I got this one from Spider-Man, Collector's Edition Spider-Man for PlayStation. And, and actually whoever has a PlayStation and this game, like the original Spider-Man, like from I think two years ago, uh, or a year, no, two years ago, um, definitely get it awesome game especially flying so yeah again not a lot of details on the spider-man body itself but i like the uh the, the the beaten boss below right oh my god just check why why could why would you tell me that about house slippers and it's not out till tomorrow 
Yeah, Spidey, pretty simple. Yep. Yeah, very simple. Very simple. But I still like it, and I mean, like, the, the, the below part is actually, I think, much nicer just because there's more details there, right? So, yep. And, of course, I have my friend Cartman here. He's actually awesome. So, this is, from, of course, everyone who watches South Park, they know this character, this amazing character called Cartman. The biggest piece of SH. <laughs> uh, so this is from the rendition of him being the coon, right? Like a superhero. And this is from, uh, I think, collector's edition for... Um, uh, what, what was the name of the second game? I forgot. I know it ends with butthole, so... Of course, uh, because of the, you know, of things and things. They've actually done it as uh, butt hole, but it's actually butt hole. So, yeah, fractured, fractured but hole, or fractured butt hole actually. Yeah, butt hole. <laughs> um, hey, Jamal, welcome. IKEA Marcus chair, exactly. I uh, this chair is awesome. The Marcus chair. It's actually pretty good. It it costs like hundred fifty dollars or fifteen thousand dinars from Ikea, but it's actually very nice. I've been using it for more than a year. Uh, I've been also sleeping in it for a long time because of my uh, surgery from, from last year. Uh, but that's a detail that I don't want to speak uh, about it right now. <laughs> it's actually embarrassing for me. Uh, but yeah, because I had the issues with my wound, I actually couldn't uh, sleep in my bed, so I slept in the chair. But yeah, Marcus chair, very nice. Uh, yeah, this basic card, but not a lot of small details. But actually, very cool, very cool doll. So, the coon, yeah, the coon, dude. <laughs> I love it, man. I'm sailing away. Sail away tomorrow, or however the White Snake song goes. Sail away, yeah. Hold. Oh. Can't spell, don't mind me. I have it also. Oh, Jamal, yeah, that, that's great, man. Stick of Truth better? Uh, yeah, though. I think that that game was actually better than the second. Um, definitely better. It's very cute. It's cute, man. Respect my authority. <laughs> it's actually very nice. Okay. So, Harry Potter time. So this is a small statue of Dumbledore. Um, and this was actually handmade. I mean, all of this is, you know handmade most of the things I think I hope so but uh, this is handmade by someone in Serbia and I actually got it um, it was the festival of, I think Gamescon yeah Gamescon um, 2018 yeah not 2019 we didn't have it because of Corona but yeah Gamescon and there was a dude uh, with his girlfriend they're like making this kind of stuff so I got this thing and since I'm talking about that guy, and I don't remember the name, but let me show you also one more very cool thing. Uh, also, something that they handmade is this watch. So, uh, sorry, not watch, clock, right? Like, uh, the Lord of the Rings clock. It looks amazing. Currently, I, I don't have a battery in it. I don't use it because uh, the, the sound annoys me. But, uh, but yeah, it's actually very, very nicely done. Very nicely done. I really like it. It was so cheap. It was like five bucks or something. It's a stick song. Oh, really? Carmen has to hear the whole song if he hears the beginning. <laughs> Spoiler check. It, man, rip. Talking about the actor, did not even watch last few HPs. That's cool. It runs on Elven Runes. Exactly, check. Exactly. It runs on Elven Runes. That's why I need to play a mage, right? Remind me to show you my Lord of the Rings guitar sound. Oh, dude, you have a Lord of the Rings guitar? Are you gonna stream tonight? 
Mac has an amazing Lord of the Rings guitar. It rocks, um, maybe put intended. Uh, pun intended. Oh, Mac, are you gonna stream tonight? I'm stay. I, I know I work tomorrow, but I'm gonna stay late, man. I wanna see that, man. I mean, I'm staying always late. You, you already know, but uh, one does not simply rock into mortar. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, let me move this. So, and the other piece from uh, from uh, the Harry Potter world, and actually I have some more that I, that I actually got, um, and I really love this. This is absolutely amazingly done. I think this is like a, a, a million dollar piece, right? It's Hedwig, right? As you can see the base, it says Hedwig. It's actually very nicely done, right? Harry Potter, whoops, Harry Potter. And I'm not sure that, that you can properly see, right? Oh, I, oh, okay, this is much better. The details and the body of the owl, this is amazing. It's almost as a real owl. I may stream tonight, yeah, Mac, let's do it, man. So yeah, this owl is just amazing. I love this one. And even though maybe you cannot see a lot of details on it, like, but the moment that you like caress it, it's 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 actually awesomely done. Sometimes I I think that this is actually like a stuffed you know a stuffed real animal. Thank God it's not. I I, I would never. I don't condone that because I love animals, which is also why I'm a vegetarian. For more than 10 years, I mean, you cannot see, but I'm actually a vegetarian. I just eat uh, a lot of other shit, man, that does have meat. Um, so, yeah, basically, I love this one. It's 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 amazing, right? Hedwig. My little Hedwig. The details are perfect? Yeah, absolutely. Shit owl can't even deliver stuff. Ah, yeah, man. Dude, <laughs> the post office can't deliver stuff properly, you know? <laughs> I, I don't expect from uh, oh okay I don't expect from from Hedwig either. Um, uh, by the way, am I too loud when I talk? Just wondering because I get carried myself and uh, of course my my volume of voice goes up and I see that I'm hitting the red ones. So this is basically Serbian Hedwig. Yeah, no, you're fine. Okay, I'm gonna put the mic just a bit lower. And I think this is gonna be okay. Okay, I'm not hitting the red anymore. Okay, yeah, Serbian, uh, Serbian Hedwig. Oh, and by the way, I put this ball so it looks like uh, Quidditch, but this is actually um, something that my friend from Australia gave me. Uh, and it's basically for, what do you call that game that they play? Um, um, good Lord. I still have Quidditch in my in my, but basically that Australian game man that they play, uh, I forgot. Doesn't matter. I'll, I'll remember later. But yeah, it just looks it just looks cool there. I, I like the color the coloring and everything. It reminds me of Gryffindor, right? Cricket? Oh yeah yeah, it's cricket. Yeah it's cricket. Thanks Mac. It's cricket. I'm not sure how to spell that, but yeah it's cricket. And I don't know where the um, <laughs> you have like a little bat as well. So yeah, it's basically like an Australian uh, Australian version of baseball. But yeah, it's cricket. I think that's also played in uh, in India as well. Yeah, yeah, cricket. Yeah, yeah. Don't die to the wildlife. The official sport of Australia. Yes, yes, exactly. So you have this, and this will save your life. Alrighty. Okay. Let's see what else do we have here. Oh yeah, I got a. Um, so this is just basically. Let me cover the price. Uh, this is just basically a uh, like a power cable. And the reason why I got it is because it has like six USB ports uh, and the Zelda lamps that I'm actually gonna show you now, they actually um, uh, plug in the USBs themselves. So that one that I have, it's actually plugged uh, through an adapter into the, the, the power cord, like through a power cord directly, right? But I, since I 
since I'm gonna have like seven or eight lamps and I'm gonna distribute them around. Um, I, I needed this one, right? And uh, yeah, basically I got this um, like a Star Wars keychain with the Death Star. It's actually for a friend. Uh, <laughs> it's it's an internal joke for the key star, but yeah, it's basically what I'm. So yeah, I I, I don't need to to unbox these. Um, no no reason, no, nothing specific to see. Not as fun to watch at Mac. <laughs> oh. Crochet isn't game. I, I hope I'm pronouncing it well. It's like knitting. Oh, you're not watching the right people. <laughs> Crochet and check. <laughs> I was watching Wolfie do it. Nobody gets hurt there. Okay, well, I don't know who it is, but uh, I'll just play around. Heckline in Serbia. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, Heckline is cool. I actually tried it when I was little, and I just learned the basics, and then I just didn't do it. So, just gonna get rid of the boxes really quickly. Give me a moment, sorry about it. It's a lot of boxes. Uh, okay, so this one's gonna go out tomorrow. So, Zelda, I actually got uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have it. So yeah, basically this is the Zelda lamp Breath of the Wild as you can see it's actually very nice and you can see it there When the camera is actually I'm, I'm gonna show it to you I'm gonna box this one so I can show you Of course, we have a little cable here. Let me uh, let me change the song. Okay, this one's nicer. I don't want depressive beats. When I when I choose epic, I want this kind of music, right? So this is the stand, right? This is a stand. Pulling G's. That's the name of the song. Okay, so the lamp is here inside. So yeah, it's actually cool as you can see. Like in the back you have like the plug for the USB here and then you can uh, you can connect it like to go here on the other end. I'm not sure if there's something uh, here if I unscrew it. But uh, yeah, the stand basically go goes here, like this. Uh, yeah, so this is the stand, right? It's actually turned on by this button here. And uh, yeah, it's actually nice. Let me uh, let me actually connect it, all right? Let me actually connect it so I can show you in first person. Oops. The cable is actually not that short. I think it's like a meter, right? So I'll need to see how I can like put like eight lamps like all around behind me, but to be also to have like the reach. So that's why I actually bought two of these. I actually bought two of these. Yeah. Uh, okay. So plugging this in. Working. Okay. Yeah. So I have a USB just behind the monitor. Okay. It's plugged in. So this is the lamp now, and this is when it's plugged in. Let me uh, let me get the lights lower. Okay. I mean, it's it's okay. Like, it's actually not like a, um, um, it's not a strong light, right? But like several ones, it's actually gonna look cool. So, 
and of course like the um, like the details the visual details that you see like it, of course it's because of the lighting and everything it doesn't have that kind of a detail like live but uh, it's actually nice it's pretty nice it looks arca arcane enough right and that's definitely something that i want for my channel um like the theme so so yeah it's actually pretty cool yeah you can also see like the lights behind and uh because you have some openings here like a, a bird let me you see this it's like a bird and then when you turn it on it actually puts the light on the sides so it's pretty nice okay we're good okay put this away um let's see what else do we have oh yes let me see if i can remove this I was actually thinking of postponing the unboxing because I don't like when you have like the prices and everything on the box. But yeah, I actually got myself a new mouse. And this is specifically for the freaking World of Warcraft, right? Um, gotta head out, have a good stream. See you, everyone. Yeah, see you, Mac. Thanks for joining, man. Thanks for joining. Hopefully to see you later, man. Yeah, I, I got this Naga Trinity one with these buttons. I, I need to up my game in World of Warcraft, right? And yeah, I've been trying to terminate my Twitch partnership. This is very difficult to deal with. Like, you can't leave even if you want to. Oh, sorry to hear that, Chug. Yeah, I think Devin Nash... I actually uh, just listened a little bit of the video. I, I'm not sure, like, if, if it was posted, like, today or whatever. But basically, like, why people should never reach affiliate, for example. Um, so, yeah. And definitely, like, if I'm gonna be bound... Because keyboard does not have enough keys. No, man. Uh, no, it's because it's easier for me to have multiple keys on the mouse and not on the keyboard. Yeah, I'll link that video in general. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's how I saw it. I don't. I don't know, man. It's. Uh, I was just teasing you. <laughs> I know. Tease me all you want, man. Tease me all you want. But yeah, I'll definitely need. Uh, it's easier for me, like, to use like Shift and Alt on my keyboard and just like the four buttons for like main attacks. Um, actually, let me open this. But I've been trying to deal for this with this for weeks now. Yeah, sorry to hear that, man. I can't believe that uh, that you cannot like terminate your 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 partnership that easy, man. Very strange. Very strange, man. Okay. Yeah, I really treated myself. Um, so, like, last year, I, I was, like, going every weekend to this game store, and I would buy something, right? Um, but to be honest, like, in the last year, I, I, I wasn't doing it, and I had, like, some other expenses, so I didn't have, like, the money to, to throw at, at these kind of stuff, but uh, I like sometimes to go. So, so let's, uh, let's open this up. Oops. There's, there's a little booklet. For gamers by gamers. Good lord, what is this? Oh yeah, just specifications on the mouse. Um, what I like about this one... What I like about this one, what, what the guy told me... And actually I know the guy, like, of course. Since I am always there in that store. Um, he's also a gamer. And he told me that, for example, for this mouse, you can actually program these keys. So even though they're like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can program them to be like keys from the numlock. Right? And not the ones above the letters on the keyboard. And this is something I definitely need. Right? Because the mouse that I currently have, the, um, um, I mean, it has two buttons, but it also has like an additional four that you, that you can switch to uh, the Alienware one. You, you, I cannot program it to use that one. And it's basically using the, the, the buttons from, uh, like if it's one, two, three, four, it's using them from above the, um, uh, the keyboard, which I don't need. Uh, but yeah. You can, but you, you have to contact them, and even as a partner, they reply after several weeks. Good lord. Sorry for throwing this into the chat. No, man, don't be sorry, man. 
Don't be sorry, man. We're chatting. All of us are chatting here. It's a safe space. You know, like, Jamal, you remember the uh, the episode from South Park? My safe space. Like with... Um, uh, whoa, dude, what was the name? Good lord, my, my brain has not been working for the last couple of years. I, I forget things. Uh, that actor, man, that got even Serbian uh, Serbian citizenship. Uh, the one that's doing Aikido. Um, Steven Seagal, yeah. Steven Seagal and some others in the episode. I love that episode, man. Oh, it's awesome. So, here's the mouse. Let's be very... Gentle. So the cable is behind, right? I'm gonna remove it. Dude, it's, only, it's already been an hour, man. I've been unboxing things for an hour already and I'm still not done. <laughs> uh, but I think it's good. Um, okay, yeah, so let me open this. I made a mess on my table, man. So yeah, this is the mouse. It's, it's pretty okay. It's not that big. Like, my, my hand is bigger than it. But uh, yeah, I, these are the buttons here. Right? And there are like two additions. So the way how you change this is... Uh, wait, I need to do this. And Yeah, it's basically magnetic. So you just remove this. So there's like 12 buttons here from 1 to 12. So it has this normal one with two buttons, regular buttons, like a regular mouse. And the other one is actually something that I'm also going to try is like this, right? It has buttons from 1 to 7. And I think that's actually enough. It's I think it's actually better. And it has like a rubber rubbery middle here, which I also like. So I'm, I think I'm gonna try this one. I think 12 buttons is a lot, but I'll try both and see how it works. Yeah, so like if you add it then... Oops. Yeah, it looks like this. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah. And you can even, yeah, I, I see the potential problems of like misclicking, but uh, yeah, I'll actually test that out and uh, freaking Warcraft, man. But yeah, need to get good, so. I mean, mouse is just like an additional utility. It's, it's, it's not going to make me good because of a mouse, but uh, we'll see. If at least if it if it at least can help. Uh, wait, what happened? Uh, are you sure you want to exit? No, I misclicked on my current mouse, and it almost stopped the stream. So okay. So let me uh, actually remove the mouse. I have a couple of other things to show, and then after that we can uh, we can start the video game. bag I actually got a lot of these keychains they, they're interesting enough I got this one it's like a I know it's from the horde like the doom hammer hammer it's actually very nice it's actually very heavy as well right but uh, but yeah it's actually pretty nice and also this one like uh, Harry Potter one like a ministry of magic keychain or whatever lol but it actually looks cool. Alright.
Okay. I have a Gryffindor keychain. That I got. It's pretty nice. Um, of course, keychain for Lord Duran. Alliance. And I have a couple of more keychains. But, uh, uh, no, actually, that's it. Okay. Cool. So, Harry Potter time again. I have bought a wand. And it's actually the, uh, what's it called? Like, it's Dumbledore's wand, but Elder Wand. Yes, it's the Elder Wand, of course. It also says on the box, right? So, let's open this up. It actually has a very nice, uh, with the illusionary, like a 3D, right? With Albus Dumbledore. And this is the wand. It's actually very nice. Very detailed. Very nice design. And I like this middle one. Like the symbols. Have you ever seen Office Space? I think you need to get to go that route with your Twitch partnership. Hey Spriggy, welcome! <laughs> Office Space? No, I have not. Is it like a series or or is that like a... Oh, are they like a Twitch uh, like a Twitch channel or... To go that route with your Twitch partnership? I'm not sure if I want to do partnership with Twitch, to be honest. I'm actually gonna look into... Yeah, you should not go that route. Okay. Definitely. Oh, it's a movie? <laughs> okay. I'll definitely check it out. Yeah, and then for the Twitch partnership, I don't think I'm gonna go that, that way because I also wanna like go onto other platforms and I just don't wanna be in the same problem like for example like uh Chegg is just having right now. So yeah, nice it was, yeah, the one is actually very nice. And I don't even know how to you know open sesame. But yeah, I, I really like the middle part, right? Yeah, that, that's what I was showing. Like these drawings or runes or whatever. They're actually very nice. Yeah, and it's actually pretty big, right? I mean, like my hand, like it's, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Very nice wand. Okay. But thanks, thanks, Poké. Yeah, I really liked it. Like, they have like other ones as well. I just didn't like them too much. And also, don't want to spend like so many, so much money. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe I will. Thank God for credit cards, huh? Uh, okay. So let's move that one. Okay, other stuff that I got: magical creatures, magical creatures. The f fox. F a w k e s. The phoenix. I really like these. Let's see how they are. I haven't, unfortunately. I was close to thinking about just YOLO ignoring TOS, but decided not to be an outlaw. Bro, did you buy the entire store? Oh, dude, but uh, this is like from several purchases, man. Yeah, I, I, I buy a lot of things from the store, man. Yep. I left a lot of money in the last three years, man, there. And, and, and I'm... I can share that, like, I, I, I left, like, let's say more than 5,000 euros in the last three years. More than 5,000 euros or more than $6,000, so. Maybe even seven. Um, wait, where is the, uh, it's here? Okay. And actually, I really like... Oh, what happened, dude? Like, my mic went into a lot of red, so sorry. Sorry, everyone. Um, I really like the box itself. The box is also very nice. Very nice. So, I'm actually looking into not... I don't want to damage the box, but then on the, other, on the other hand, I don't care about the box. 
I don't like collecting things and then to be in the boxes, actually like putting them outside, so. Okay. Okay. We have some piece of tape here, yep. Yeah. Actually cannot see me, but sorry, I think you don't need to see me uh, um, having issues opening it up. Uh, let's put it here. Wait, what does it have here? Okay, so I can go outside, but for some reason it's not. Just open it up like this. Here we go. Alrighty. Okay. Finally, good lord. Dude, oh my gosh, it's actually inside a different box. This is actually very nice, very nicely done, very high quality. It has a little booklet, Noble Collection, let's see what it has. Oh, it actually has everything that they have, right? So different wands. Oh my gosh, look at these, I would love to get this kind of collection like this box. This looks amazing. Mm. Look at this, like having this, this map is awesome. This map. And then I think I saw this in the store, but I didn't get it. I need to see if they still have it. It's gonna be for some next time in. For content, for content, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's that, um, that thingy that Hermione uses to travel through time. I think it was done in the third movie. Yeah, the Prisoner of Azkaban. It's actually pretty nice. Yeah, there's a lot of nice things, and unfortunately... <coughs> unfortunately, it um, it's so tough to, to get things like this to Serbia, right? Yeah, these are some of the toys that, I don't know... Oh, these are like book book uh, book markers. Yeah, nice. It's pretty nice. The time turner, exactly. Thanks, Springy. Um, partway through, the guy just completely sh stops caring about his job and tries to get himself fired. Shows up late, wearing t-shirts and sweats to the office, cleans fish in his cubicle, etc. Lol. Lol. I, I gotta I gotta check that out. Office space? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this chess set. It looks amazing. Amazing. They have very nice stuff. The crimes of Grindelwald. Yeah, I gotta check out those other ones that they have. I mean, I saw some. I didn't like them, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it would be nice to have like a collection, All right? Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, these are some pencils, etc., etc. Like they have, I don't know. Let's see if they have anything more interesting. Oh, oh, they actually have something that doesn't have anything to do with Harry Potter, the Da Vinci Code, and then some things from The Hobbit. But I'm not sure if it's um. Like if it's a real sword in terms of like how big it is. Gandalf illuminated staff. Oh my gosh. I gotta get that. I gotta get that. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much it. Okay, let's go back to the thing why we're here. Uh, alrighty. Oh, there's some other stuff beneath. 
So here's the Bernie. Let me get her out. is also tied, so it's awesome. Oh wow. The bird is actually really cool. Fox, yeah. Very nice. Very nicely done also. The details and the feeling is, is very nice. Right? But it's not all, right? It has something also. As this right oh it's a real crystal ball look at this look at my my head is upside down lol so it has uh so what are these like oh okay this is actually like this is actually the uh, the stand for this and this is like a book with magnifying glass so we put it like this oops it, it's not that stable but uh Let's check. Yeah, it's not that stable to be honest. But yeah, it's pretty much pretty much like this. I'm not sure why it's not stable. Maybe there's a catch there. But there's actually no catches here. Hmm, okay. Or like this. Maybe like this. Even. Doesn't matter, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see how I'll put it. But, uh, oops. It's like this. Yeah, pretty cool. Fox. Dude, they gotta rearrange everything afterwards. <laughs> uh, I have a complete mess. Uh, okay. I really like these. I really like this. Like, the, Actually, the box is like of very nice quality. Right? Magical creatures. It's pretty nice. Okay. Put it here. So a different one is Dobby. They actually had several more, but this is the one that I really like the most. Like the fox and Do Dobby. Like Dobby is just amazing. Um, let's see if we can just. Tight like this. Okay. Okay. This is much easier. I'm just gonna do the whole thing like this. Anything magical, please? Yeah, okay. This looks amazing. Change directory, my friend, to just chatting or something. Yeah, man. I'm actually gonna... Can I do it now? I mean, to be honest, I I was definitely not planning. Yeah, I was definitely not not planning on on, on uh, spending so much time on this. But apparently, of course, since it's my first uh, unboxing, right? I like the casing, packaging. Yeah, casing and packaging. It looks amazing. It's actually very nice. Very nice. And of course, magical creatures. So I'm not sure that. Wait, let me check. Mm. Okay. Yeah, the packaging is, is awesome. Yeah, I changed the the category. Thanks, thanks for letting me know, man. 
like I said, I wasn't planning on, on, on spending so much time with this, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of things, so. Okay, and we have the statue as well behind. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, Dobby, let's get you out of this prison and then... Okay, cool. Okay, awesome. So, he goes inside here. Yeah, it's still not that very stable, right? But again, this is not like for moving around. This is when you put it there and it's pretty nice. Yeah, I really like it. Dobby's head is maybe not like the best. Actually, let me put it on this side, I think. You can see it a bit better. Like Dobby's head is not that like 200% perfect. But yeah, it's pretty nice and it's actually pretty detailed. Um, yeah. And well, like with this stance, it's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool, right? Okay, what else do I have? Oh yeah, I got this, uh, like a keychain charm, charm keyring. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And let's see what else do I have. Yeah, I bought this one again. I said I, I got these two. I got my uh, box for uh, the Nintendo Switch, like the case, since I don't have it. But that doesn't matter, I don't wanna unpack that. And yeah, I think the last thing I'm gonna unpack is, I got another lamp. I have to do this. It's Batman lamp, right? It doesn't go with these, uh, <laughs> with these um, uh, Zelda lamps, right? But uh, yeah, I actually wanna check how this looks like. It looks actually pretty cool, so. So we have a little piece of paper that's telling you like manual how to set this up. Hopefully we won't need it. Uh, oh wow, this just looks cool, right? It's very simple, very simple. Yeah, the Batman looks cool. It's like the old, old Batman suit, and it's pretty nice, pretty niche. I like that. I think there's a there's a, like a newer look of Batman, but I actually really like the old suit design, right? So let me turn it on. And let's see how it looks like. Again, powered by USB. Oh! Check where the where is the button for this? Does it have an on-off button? Oh, this one is missing from here. I'll check the box afterwards. Uh, yeah, it apparently doesn't have a button at all. Okay. Or does it? Wait, it lost power now. Wait, is my USB even working? I think I saw power there. probably need a manual but input wait there's an input here 
my previous beam. Five volts. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. It's actually pretty cool. Let me uh, turn on the turn off the lights. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I actually like it. It definitely doesn't go with the, uh, like I said, with the layout behind, but uh, it doesn't matter. This is just for my personal preference. I'm probably not gonna put it like glowing and everything, but uh, but yeah. Okay, awesome. And I think we're done. Finally, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> um. Okay. Cool. Let me just quickly put this stuff away and then we can continue on gaming. Alrighty then. I mean, this lamp is pretty simple, but I don't know. It just looks retro a little bit, like the design is retro and I like it. Let's put this in the box and yeah I think we're good so I'm gonna return this to the box here uh, let's get bad uh, let's get Dobby back in his housing Yeah, as you can see, I'm not sure why this is not that very stable. I need to check, but uh, but yeah, I'll just take care of that later. Okay, this we can remove. Alrighty. Well, thanks everyone for uh, staying with uh, me during this uh, <laughs> unboxing. It's actually cool. I'm gonna start the game really soon. Uh, I just need to take like a five minute break and then I'll rejoin back. Okay. Okay, awesome. Uh, like I said, I'll be back in five minutes. So, bear with me.
Okay. Thanks everyone for uh, for staying. Okay. So I'm turning on the game and let's get into the uh, pally. Just change this song. I'm not sure the music is a bit. Uh, is it? Uh, let's go to a chill one. Okay. So where is he? Uh, yeah, I played a little bit more yesterday after the stream, and I think we're at level forty-eight. No giveaway? Yeah, there will be a giveaway. Hey, Dan, it's a welcome. I think he was planning on giving away Shadowlands key, but not sure how he plans on doing it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'll, um, I'll either post tonight or tomorrow. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll need to think about like the way how, how it's gonna be do be done. But yeah, I have a Shadowlands key to give out, and it will definitely be no later than um, no later than Monday. So I think Monday will be the last day to. Uh, on Monday, we're, we're going to be finally giving the key so that the, whoever gets it, they have the time to install it right before Shadowlands hits. So, um, Okay, so it's level 48. And I'd say if you thought of a giveaway of, of, uh, of these, like, figurines, uh, who knows, maybe. We'll see. Alrighty. So we definitely need to be careful about the zombies. Yesterday's tournament was full of them, today as well. So, let's see, propaganda. Recover an informational pamphlet, secret journal, and issue of the Moonbrook Times and Mysterious Propaganda. Okay, so basically I just need to go in these houses and uh, fight the guys there. Uh, or around. Uh, just a moment. I think... Okay, let me kill this person first. Boom, baby. System. Sound. Still on my speakers. Uh, headphones. And let's put it volume down. 11%. Okay. I think we're good now. So I need to go into where? Uh, here? Oh, okay. So these are the pamphlets, probably. Number of times. Okay, and let's go inside. Let's get the fighting XP. Getting red bandanas. Okay, that, that's also part of a quest, so I need two more. Um, let's see, do we have anything in this house? There's nothing. Alrighty. these bandanas then Six out of six, cool. Let me just check in the house. Yeah, there's nothing here. Uh, looking at the minimap, so um, let's get on our horsey. Pamphlets. 
Something's showing me this house, right? So let's check it out. Come on, Mr. Bad Boy. What level are you now? I'm actually 48. Just need two levels more and I'm done with this guy. And then I'm gonna do an Iron Dwarf, a Shaman. I'm actually gonna, gonna take your advice uh, check. I'm gonna do Shaman on it. I really wanna do a Warrior, but uh, I already saw the Warrior a little bit, like just the beginning. I can do a Warrior on, on, on any other else, but really wanna do that uh, Elemental Shaman, right? I wanna explore or the range DPS, just to see how, how each one works. I'm good with melee DPSs uh, after playing the after playing the pally. So okay, here's the book. Boom, baby. Yeah, I, I, I'm, this actually is very chilling for me, like doing like these very old quests near Stormwind, like I, I like them because I've never done it before, right? Like the old content and everything, let me uh, turn, on, turn, up the, turn down the volume a bit uh, on my headphones. Um, I already took the book from here, right? So why is this giving me... let me check this house again. Oh, actually, the book is there. Oh, actually, I think I see two things there. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Good baby. So, the mysterious propaganda is here, but also... Oh, okay, all of them are here. Informational pamphlet. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Do I have any other ones here? No. Okay, we're good. We are good. Yeah, and basically I also changed the... Um, the... Uh, how do you call it? Yeah, let me put myself in the dungeon group. Uh, I changed my um, time walking campaign to Cataclysm. So, propaganda, quest, accept... Evidence collection. Let me check. Uh, did I get some nice loot that I can actually change? Oh, bracers. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Greaves, no. Boots? Um, no. No, 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 no. no. I already done it yesterday. Okay, cool. Very cool. So, what do we have now? Um, information from Moonbrook Rally Gathered. Okay. What kind of information? The rally is about to begin. Oh my gosh. Gather brothers and sisters. We are abandoned. The orphan children of Stormwind. Okay, so this is the person that's actually doing the nasty stuff around. Our king sits atop his throne made of gold and shrugs at our plight. Meanwhile, our children die of starvation on these very streets. His war, not ours, cost us our livelihood. We paid for the Alliance's victories with our blood and the blood of our loved, loved ones. The time has come, brothers and sisters, to stop this injustice. Play Injustice 2, DC. The government of Stormwind of the Alliance must be made accountable for what it has done to us. Uh, when they did this, whoever played for a long time was shocked. What? Really? Today we are reborn. Today we take a stand as man, blah, blah. What do you mean, Chick? Which one? Because of her name and who is her father. Oh, okay. We'll see. Sh it's still a shadowy figure. Ooh. Did I get the info? Yeah, I did. Uh, let me grab these. Um... Where are 
aren't they? A uh, couple of herbs. Yeah, all these characters that I'm making, I'm just like giving them the profession of. Uh, wait, where is it? Somewhere behind, probably. Kill this guy. I I just give them the profession for herbalism and mining, and, and basically just like it's it's a thousand XP when you pick it. So it's pretty good. Also need to find like a place where I can like do this. Yeah, it's probably behind. Yep. But this guy is also behind us. Boom, baby, hammer bit, hammer time. Do -do -do -do. Herb gathering. Yeah, it's like 1,200 XP, man. It's pretty nice. Uh, do we have more? No, it's somewhere below. Okay. So let's go back. Let's turn in this quest. I really like this area. Like the small tornadoes, they're cool. I'm about cyclones. Okay, speak with Theralius, the Wise, and Moonbrook and Westfall. Okay, we'll do. Oh, oh I didn't see. Uh, no. Okay. Wanted to see how far am I with the uh, with the storyline. Oh, let's enter. Hopefully, we can get a level after this dungeon ends. Oh, I remember this dungeon. This dungeon is so bugged out. Let's see if it's still bugged out. Like, the big wormy things, elementals, whatever, it's like almost one shot. It's literally one shot, so let's see. Um, I don't know, man. I was several times with several teams and basically everyone said it was bugged. So, I don't know. I thought it was just because we... We were bad, but... Well, let's see. Let's see now when this guy pulls. I need to target something first. These are super easy. What? Good. Okay. Now the health is good. Did someone die already? Oh, let me heal this guy. Since apparently the healer is not healing. Or, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, no, rip. Yeah. No, it's pretty much the same thing, but like we couldn't even do like one percent of health. This currently like he's almost dead, so. Uh, release spirit. Oh. You're not doing it right. Yeah. Interrupt group by group and kill dwarf first. Interrupt. Oh, okay. Okay. I suspected as much. And you are good. These are difficult things in this dungeon. This is not easy, but not bugged. Okay. Yeah, I was confused because, like I said, with several groups, like everyone said it, and I'm like, okay. That's the thing that I, 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 I don't know, right? Um, so Millhouse Mana Storm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep on targeting him. Interrupt again. Uh, what? Why cannot I open? Dude, I need to kill myself. They're used to doing everything at once. 
Now it's like what what it used to be at launch. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's... Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Ooh. Kerberos. But I like this. Like, I can even... Like, when did this go out? Like, 2006? 7, 8? Something like that. What is he doing? Why is he moving him? Come on. Okay. Yeah, I think I need to move, right? Yeah. And we need to, to kill these. Yeah. Who's this guy? Abri? Human priest. Okay. He's top. And then the second one is the blue guy. He is shaman. Yeah, of course. And then we have a druid. And then who's this one? The fifth is, uh, I think it's frost shock, flame shock, lava burst. Oh, it's shaman, right? Take you. I know. Oh my gosh. Are these guys are going to be... Yeah, man, as you said, like, people got used to, like, doing everything in at once, and... <laughs> like, you cannot bypass mechanics here, man. It's actually nice to, to learn, like... And to have the experience that you had, for example, like, what, 10, 15 years ago? It's actually nice. I think I tried classic... playing classic only, like... For a couple of hours i don't know i mean i didn't dislike it but also i don't know man i got used to this one and i don't know i think again the key word is used to right Do you get... Uh, I think there's a mount that you can get from here, but I don't think that we can get it now, right? I think there's a mount here, and it's basically like this this drake that we just that we just saw, like this one, right? You can? Yeah. Oh, I can? Like right now? Okay. Okay, man. Let's see if I'm lucky, huh?
would be so nice to get a mount from here, man. I actually like, like, um, I have the, um, that sandstone break where you turn into a dragon and then uh, you can actually carry someone. I really like that one. It's so cool. And it's basically just a different color of this, from this one, right? I mean, they're very similar. Uh, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, pretty much looks to me the same, so. Okay. Thank you, self heal. Stand and shit. Self heal. Hammer, baby. Hammer time. I'm really wondering how it will be when uh, with the shaman, man. I had never played the shaman. I, I I didn't even try it, to be honest. Next time. Wow. A lot of coloring here. <laughs> this is a shaman superstar. Actually, I mean, even though they're like totally different, they don't match. I still like it. saying in chat like no mount yep yep well if it's one percent chance then <laughs> we don't have a good chance to get him out man ah yes sir Just steady and easy and... Sorry I was in the game of Heroes of the Storm. Mount still drops but it's low chance. Doesn't look too good. I am... <laughs> oh yeah? I don't know. I... If it looks the same as that Sandstorm Drake, I mean... I like those Drakes. To be honest, it's a little bit difficult for me to really dislike something, right? But yeah, there's definitely things that I absolutely don't like. Next time we play, I can show it. Oh, okay. Cool, man. How's the game Heroes of the Storm? Is that like still... Is also Blizzard, right? Ooh. nice to have it for sure yeah blizzard's version of dota league of legends oh it's crap but i kind of like it oh really nice yeah let's make 
make sure we don't pull all of these. I don't like wasting the dust, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're killing that one. So yeah, let's just make sure we don't do that one. Cool. Clear both camps. Ooh. Okay, let me heal. Oh, dude. lagging a little bit to be honest the game is a little bit lagging and of course well, of course some of pulled well that's awesome I'm gonna get that uh, shaman or whatever he is A warlock. No, uh, uh, sorry, that's what I wanted to say. Not a shaman, a warlock. Good lord. I was thinking warlock, and um, my brain is my brain is not uh, cooperating. <laughs> to be honest, next boss will probably kill you all. It has raid mechanics. Okay. I don't care. We'll learn. Ozruk. Is he from Turkey or? It sounds Turkish. I like this boss so much, yeah? Actually, he looks cool as well. Nice beard, man. Stone elemental, but it's funny if people don't know mechanics. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, jump or something long time ago. What? Uh, yeah, let me ask him. What are the mechanics? Yeah, better to ask than to, you know, don't wanna ground slam. Also builds up his strength, then slams the ground in front of him, dealing... Okay, so in front of him. To all enemies within 41 yards of the impact point. Ooh, okay, so I need to run from here, okay. Um, oh yeah, I have these things, like, okay. Elemental... Blue-white, right? No. Oh, dude, now we need the person. Okay, awesome. At least I have time to read. The elementium plates grafted onto Osrook are charged with energy, causing them to have a 20% chance to reflect spells. Okay. While I don't have spells, I don't know if a spell is when I do my Templar's verdict, right? Specs are up from Osrook's body for 10 seconds. Okay, so yeah, I remember, I think. Oh, dude, they started it? Ground slam. Shatter. Oh, so Shatter was the one. Okay. Okay, now I know. Never ever be in front of him, run out of the big circle. Yeah. 
it also puts people to sleep and in order to wake up you need a dot on yourself so you should cast a spell with dot on from during effect to dot yourself which is so cool shatter run out ground slam be behind ah okay, okay. Yeah, yeah yeah got it man i died lol rip well you gotta do what you gotta do Was this person? Let's see. Yeah, two people are dead. Let's we'll see if they're gonna solo it. Yeah, I can use bubble for one shatter. Yep. Always forget to use all of my abilities. Always forget that. But yeah, I, I mixed up. I, I thought shatter was okay. That was uh. Why the F was I resurrected in front of this person? This is ridiculous. In front of this boss. This is ridiculous. It... it put me right in front of him during the... Rip. Yeah, this is ridiculous, man. There's something I don't like, like if someone resurrects you, like, I should resurrect at that place where I died, and not in front of him. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm off to Plaguelands, to, to Plaguelands, to gather supplies, wish me luck, good luck, Del, good luck. <laughs> Plaguelands. <laughs> Love. Okay, so yeah, so this is the circle that he's making during Shatter. Yeah, this is just uh, yeah. nuke all the zombies, though. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, there's a trend on TikTok. Um, like you're just chilling, and for example, there and, and there's a song or whatever, and then you can like hear like a distorted demonic sound, oh, oh, or something like that, right? L like someone is like running towards you or whatever. Uh, and uh, they usually write down like, okay, like once 2021 starts or I don't know, something like that. Uh, like you're chilling and then you just hear this sound, right? Uh, good job, healer and tank. Yeah, you guys, you guys are awesome. Yeah, these guys were really good. GG for them. And back had to cook and eat dinner was delicious hey welcome back northern it was delicious i can imagine i'm actually pretty hungry myself i haven't actually eaten anything today to be honest i woke up at like 5 p.m again and i haven't eaten anything i actually ordered some some food it should arrive like in 30 40 minutes so when it arrives i'm gonna like make a short break of like 10 minutes five minutes 10 minutes just to quickly eat something and then uh, i'll be back was because if you all tax here you die yeah welcome back welcome back been years since i had wild bird for dinner i always forget how much tougher it is than chicken <laughs> wild bird love mm. well i'm glad it was delicious delicious
buff. Really? Oh, dude. Yeah, I probably can. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. First time. I mixed. Attacks. This back, oh no, man. Yeah, they're probably gonna kick me now. Lol. Now we know. Yep. And I'm gonna die then. Again. When he do something like that, again then. I'm gonna be very nice. Use portal? Yeah, crap. Did, did. That is why I like where you can be rezzed at any point in time by anyone like in Elder Scrolls Online. Or at least, you know, I can respect, okay, you only have like, certain classes that can res you. Like, don't put me in the beginning of the fuck that get good I agree but again no because this just makes me frustrated like right if I need to like walk like fucking five six seven minutes just to get to the team Oh, it was here. <laughs> oh, SH. Oh. My bad, my bad. Druid, come give red speed. Oh, dude. One minute cooldown for Divine Steed. What? It was 45 seconds. Yeah, there was a portal, but I thought it 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 took me like to a totally different place, man. Like at the very beginning. Stampeding Roar, level 43. Uh, and he is which level? Uh, he's 39, yeah. Yeah, they need to wait for me. Unfortunately. why the divine state is one minute it was 45 seconds oh I gotta check later thanks Okay, let's check out this boss. Um, oh, she has two stages. Okay. Curse of Blood. Curse is a random enemy player, increasing the player's physical damage taken. Okay. So traps her current enemy target in a field of energy, repeatedly lifting them up and then slamming them into the ground. Oof. They get damage. Okay. Uh, gravity well, the location. After three seconds, girl well fully forms and will then pull any nearby targets within 101 yards. Why 101 yards? Why not 100 or something? Gravity well? Okay, well. Yeah, I wasn't able to. Is this a gravity well? Yeah. Okay, good. 
Yeah, unfortunately, I cannot. Um... Okay, get out of there. Okay, this is the second, uh, and I don't know what what's the second. Uh, didn't have time to read. Okay. Oh, she's throwing rocks. No. I put the bubble by mistake. <laughs> and that's why I need buttons on the mouse. Okay, gravity well, get out. Interrupted, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good. Good. Ooh, I got something. Ooh, I got haste, awesome. Uh, but it's the same as my trinkets, other trinkets. Yeah. Well, GG. Uh, let's move out. Wait, was that all of them? Yeah, all of them. So let's leave the instance group. Let's continue our missions and go into a different one. Right. So complete the quest. Let's get into the group, and I think we're very near. We need like 20,000 XP more, 21k XP, and we're gonna be level 49, and then just one more level. And then we do Shaman. Um, okay. Where's the... Let's see who this mysterious person is. Now I'm wondering, now the check said people didn't like were very shocked. I'm really wondering who that is. I'm really wondering who that is. Okay, it's probably upstairs. Oh you wanna fight? You wanna fight? Okay. I can fight. GG for the dungeon? Yeah. Thanks, man. I don't think it was GG, but uh, it was good to learn. It was good to learn, to be honest. It's tough being a noob, but it's also fun. Oh, so this is the place where I get all of this stuff. Come on, let's mine. It was fine, you made it through? Yeah. Coolio. Let me mine something. Wait, where is it? I see it on the oh, okay, here we go. Let me turn off turn off this map. Let me grab.
grab this. Uh, and let me heal myself as well. I have free... I mean, it's not free healing, right? But I can heal myself, so... Um, okay, where are you going, baby? Interrupted. You're not gonna throw any spells at me today. Oh, I got... 5k XP, nice. So we have how many? How much more uh, do we need? Uh, 11k, cool. And it's more fun when you have to struggle a bit. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. It was really fun. And I'm actually happy that I was able to learn as well. But it would be also be nice if people wouldn't be freaking toxic. I don't fucking care about mid-maxing. And if that's a game or anything, like, dude, like, chill. Like, kick me out of the group or something. Like, just don't, like, just shut up, right? Don't tell me five times something that you already told me once. And I already, like, explained why I died. First time it was my fault. Second time I got spawned right in front of the boss during the mechanic and I couldn't do anything, so. And I'm talking about the guy, like, from the group. That was a rare? Which one, man? Oh, th that one? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. The, um... The NPC I killed. Oh, there's a portal here. Ooh. Okay, oh, look at the drawing. Um, where am I? The Dead Knights? Oh, nice. Yay, more... More uh, missions. Come on, man. these let's uh, kill one by one oh he's killing me oh he's an elite oh wow okay let's pop on the uh great if I didn't die. Or actually enter the dungeon before I die. Okay. Let me just heal quickly. Quickly, 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 quickly. Okay. Saved by the bell. But it's gonna reset and it's gonna heal me after I finish, so... Uh, let's finish these quests. What's this? Lost City of Tolvir. Ooh. I think it's, um... That is in Dungeon 5, man. I think it's silly when players become elitists. I mean, everyone starts as out as a new baven at them at some point. And God forbid people play a game for fun rather than for being the best. Yeah, Northern, I absolutely agree. And again, I can understand, like, oh, World of Warcraft, that kind of game. But again, just, like... I absolutely agree. People are just people, right? I mean, yes, it's an MMORPG, and you cannot expect people to be normal, but uh, then again, on the other hand, like, F those people, right? I, I don't want to be like, oh, the game is like that, and, you know, you have to accept it. No, I'm not expecting uh, accepting that, right? People suck. Persons are okay, though. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. 
And I agree, of course. Like Czech said, yeah, get better. Sure. I just don't need to hear toxicity in the meantime, right? I don't want to listen to that, right? Whoop. That didn't look good. Wait, I, I think there was... A, was that like a shaman's earthquake or something like that? Dead Minds is a dungeon. WoW is not a game like that. There are a lot of kids playing WoW and they are latest morons. Once someone says they're new to the game, that should just stop and turn into explaining stuff rather than having patience. Yeah, I agree, man. So Dead Minds is a dungeon. Oh, dude. So <laughs> okay, so I need to... Okay, so I'll just get out of there and... Uh, I'll just queue if... Uh, well, if it's a dungeon, I, I suspect it, it has like the entry and the... Uh, Dungeon Finder, right? Rip. Yes, you can queue through the finder. Awesome, man. Oh, he's attempting to one man dead minds. <laughs> exactly. Okay, I'm gonna wait for someone to. Uh... Is someone gonna res me? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, what did I get? Mail? Nah. not to stand on top of the mines i'll try but i cannot promise man you know i like standing and shit that's how you build resilience right <laughs> uh, oh level 49 baby Ah, uh, yeah. Very nice. Target something first. And I agree, check there's constructive criticism and there's just being critically rude. Yep, I find many WoW players tend to give the latter one of the reasons I stopped playing actually. Oh. Sorry to hear that, Norton. Congrats, thanks man. That the monthly fee and my guild died. Yep. I'm afraid to tell Tails that he was wrong because I don't want to piss him off more. No, man, why would I... No. I'm expecting you to tell me when I'm wrong to tell me that I'm wrong, right? But with an explanation of why, right? What I'm talking about these people is... Lol, yeah. Wow. 
And then the other thing is, you being afraid of telling something to someone? Come on, man. Don't give me that bullshit, man. I know you at least a little bit so far. <laughs> Grats on the ding. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yep, so now we just need uh, 149k XP and we're good. I think we're gonna get to level 50 tonight. It's actually pretty good. Got you there, check. <laughs> yeah, check always picks his mind, which is good. That's how it should be. Like I said, I don't mind being criticized. I know that I'm bad. Like I, I'm, I'm noob, right? I'm not expecting to like be tender than I'm. As uh, Dell actually used the uh, used one word, but I cannot remember now. What was it? Um, Silky, buttercup, something, like, I don't mind being criticized when it's right, I, I absolutely expect that, right? I just don't like people, like, being extremely toxic while doing that, right? That's the only thing. But if you want to learn, when you get combat res, you should never accept the res immediately. You should always wait for the mechanic to be safe, okay? The person who is resing you during the combat also has their own mechanic to deal with, usually tank heal. So they res whenever they can, you should wait and get up safely. If you get up into one shot mechanic, they wasted their res. Yep, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. Thank you for letting me know. threat oh that's just great 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 there's nothing bad with being a noob or not too good at the game i know but there is bad when you have to leave the game because of toxic people right uh screw it today was a rough work day i think i'll brave the store tomorrow night instead yeah, Dal, sorry to hear that. Works started becoming really... Did, wait, did I pull these? Come on. Yeah, fuck toxic people, yeah, I agree. Yeah, good decision, Dal. Just enjoy and... As Max said yesterday, like, grab a beer or two and... I, I still didn't go to the store. I need to grab some beer myself as well. Sorry to hear about the bad day. That's already expecting me tomorrow. Like, almost after a week, I'm gonna work tomorrow. And I already, like, checked some emails in Slack and like they're making like an artificial feeling in me that everything is falling apart not because i'm, I'm gonna do something but like everything is falling apart every day it's every day like that it's always some shit and always and they're just waiting for me to also of course you know take part of that burden and be in that shit and to be honest i am absolutely tired of, of working in general especially doing freaking work with the same same type of clients which are absolute crap right absolute crap i'm sorry to say it like that but they're absolutely crap uh the company is acting like it's a uh, a startup after 10 years and after you oh So, oh, do I need to get this orb, or what do I need? I don't understand. Oh, I need to kill this one. Can we even kill it?
Try to enjoy the evening, Dell. Good company, good vibes. Yep, absolutely, Dell. I agree with Norgren and everyone else. <sighs> Hopefully, the sign will bright. The sun will bright shinier than ever for us that are working with people. <laughs> Why are you not ordering groceries from Maxi Online? Uh, check, because literally I have a Maxi right in front of my building, man. And if I and if I stop going to that store and start ordering everything online, I'm just gonna die in this apartment. Like, and my body is already like decomposing, freaking, because I'm not going outside. So. The store will be there tomorrow. Yep. Yep, yep. The store is always there. Ooh, Siamat. Let me uh, let me quickly check the uh, uh, stage one. So storm bolt that throws a charge missile at a random enemy player. Okay. Cloud burst, a random player's location, summons a 51. Ooh, okay. After three seconds, the cloud bursts. So I need to run with this if I get this. Summon three of these large air elementals during stage one. A single servant enters the fight. After all three servants, let's see enter stage two. Okay, so we need to kill the servants. And what's the stage two? Oof, there's a lot. But inflicting... Where is can only... Okay, around... Okay, during the spell. Okay, so we need to... Okay, cool. I think this is the second one. Okay, and I think we're gonna have the third one. Yep. Dude, <laughs> that was fun. Fun, fun, fun. I'm gonna read the chat in a bit. Let me just finish this fight. Yeah, I cannot... I cannot... interrupt him. But we're close. Oh, cool. Nice. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Um, I've done call center work. It broke me as a human. Never again. Yep. I exactly know what you're talking about, Northern. I've been working call centers for six years. Although I'm now like a manager or whatever, it's still crap, right? Uh, it's like being stuck between two sides of terrible. Customers suck and the company makes your job impossible. Exactly, Northern. Absolutely. In this sentence, that, that that's it, right? And actually, Popke, who's in the chat as well, he's actually working with me in work, so... He also knows of the pain. <laughs> Um, yeah, I agree. I order stuff online, but I go out for a walk by myself every night. Really have no intention of mingling with people if I don't have to nowadays. Yeah, I agree, man. This boss is just nuking the, the ads while boss has shield. And not standing in the crap on the floor. Yep. Yep. I was able to, to read in time. Oh, turning quests. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Wait, what? Oh, at least I can I can get on the mount. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Cool, 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 cool. Let me just quickly turn on turn in the quest. It's gonna give me XP as well. Oh, good. We're already at 65k. So yeah, and they're calling me on the phone. So give me just a moment. I'll be back.
Hey everyone, I'm actually back. Uh, yeah, I just I just grabbed a couple of bites and uh, I'm, I'm good. Uh, yeah, let's go back to where we stopped. Um, <clears throat> what Norman said, you mingle, check, you mingle online. Apparently it's becoming more common with people with different mental health issues. The internet feels safer. I absolutely agree, Norton. I absolutely agree. It's also the reason why I, you know, I started streaming and, and just mingling online because I also been dealing like with depression for like years. Uh, the only reason why I keep myself functional is just through work. Uh, that's why like I do two jobs right now. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's actually tough, right? So. Sadly, even if I manage to get a slot for ordering groceries locally, I don't trust the random shop or person to substitute wisely when the store doesn't have what I wanted. Yep, absolutely true though. We both live in a 3 million people city that is having big issues with the virus at the moment. So that is what I'm talking about at the moment. Yep. I, I get the whole hiding from the virus too. Internet is safer for that too. Um, I know a thing or two about support as well. Unfortunately, yeah, a lot of people I mean, on one hand, like doing support here, um, it's giving jobs to people and actually better paying jobs. Like instead of being paid like for $200 in a store, you can actually get paid like $500, $600 and, and above um, with like international call centers. But then on the other hand, of course, you have, you know, you have the whole <laughs> the whole other side of the coin. Which, which I really don't like, and that's basically, you know, people calling you and, like, mentally draining you, and it, it just... And Northern, especially what you said, like, companies where you're employed, absolutely making it impossible for you to be successful, absolutely true. It's absolutely true, and that's, again, the problem with my current company, which, uh, why I hate my job currently. Like, I, re I really hate the first job, like, really hate it, but unfortunately, it pays the bills, and it pays, like, <laughs> when I go out and, uh, you know... Spend a bit more on, on these goodies. So. Uh, Del says, hey, I worked tech support for 14 years. Oh. For Compu CompuServe AOL and then web hosting company. And now 17 years interpreting on phones. I know these fields. Oh, sorry to hear that, Del. Yeah, it's support is killing everyone. Uh, I worked for Kobo Books and it was amazing. I loved it. And then they left Canada and went to Nicaragua. Yeah, of course. It, 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 that's the thing with Serbia, right? Like you have a lot of people speak English, understand English and can't speak English, right? Uh, and of course we are very cheap, right? Because for someone to work in support, so I'm not sure like how the salaries are in, in the United States like for customer support, but like here you can go like from three, four hundred dollars and just go above, right? Monthly. Of course, that's like uh, net pay, right? So like the the gross pay would be uh, so again five hundred dollars and above. So so yeah, and of course everyone's coming here, and you know again on the one side it's good because then you can have work, right? And and you know get some get some cash, but then on the other hand everything that goes with it and it's it's hell, right? And and it's cool and great when you start doing it, but. The more years you're into it, I, I'm just tired. I'm just tired of doing support. I'm tired of answering the phone. I'm just tired of that. I, I, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm tired of all the bullshit that, that happens like in the back like of, of the company, right? Of people like just like acting up like a startup for 10 to 15 years, right? And just not doing their job properly, right? And then of course, for example, in my case, putting support managers like I'm support manager with the Serbian team here in Belgrade. There are some India support managers. There are some US support managers, but it's not support manager. And check, you, you're, you'll know, like, it's not a manager job. It's literally like a team lead position from NCR, which is like the worst position, the worst job that you can do in, in, in a, for example, NCR is like the biggest customer support company currently in Belgrade in terms of like everyone starts there, right? They are literally picking everyone up, right? Um, that's that's how I started like six years ago and like being a team lead there It's the worst thing that that you can do and that's basically my position here Even though like I have a manager role. It's 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 not a manager role. It's it's bullshit um, <clears throat> uh, 
Yeah, so they went to Nicaragua. Then I did a CO a Cox Communications. Oh, they are an internet provider, right? Oh my gosh, in one of the previous companies um, where I worked for, like it's a US company that that makes uh, that made like a POS system for uh, for like beauty salons. Uh, a lot of those beauty salons had Cox um, uh, internet provider. It was terrible, absolutely terrible, absolutely terrible. It's a US cable company. Yeah, <laughs> you wrote there already. Yeah, it's a US cable company that was worse than hell. I I can imagine. I remember like people being so pissed at their service. Um, it it was, yeah. Hey, I worked for a publishing company for a couple of years. We published Catholic Church bulletins. Those little flyers they would hand out to members like church news, prayer requests, events, etc. Never heard anybody curse so much on the phone as a priest who didn't get them on time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe it was a shadow priest, huh? <laughs> uh, just a small World of Warcraft joke. Uh, I was a typesetter, so the church secretaries would send in all the info and we would type them up, format, add graphics, print, and send back. Good lord. I'm so, so thankful for my online friendos. Yeah, you're awesome, though. Um, that's hilarious. The thought of a Catholic priest cursing into the phone amuses me so much. Lol. Oh my god, I would never work, want to work for Cox. Ew. Yeah, in terms of support, Serbia is new Indian Europe. Yep, it's not 500 and above. You live in a dream, my friend. It's 350 and above. It was 500 and above a few years ago. Oh, they dropped, they dropped it? I had 400 in Mera, I dodged NCR. Oh my gosh, that's so low. 400 in Mera? Dude, you should have had at least like 600 euros net. That's that's ridiculous. But again, it's it's also like how you sell yourself in the in the in the in the interview, right? Delicia, my favorite food call was someone begging me. My favorite call was someone begging me to turn their TV back on. Kid in the background screaming, I want Dora. <laughs> they were $400 behind. Oh my gosh. They hung up angry and called back 30 minutes later. Kid still screaming, I'll pay anything just to turn on my TV. Oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Actually, uh, let me actually write it down. Um, maybe we could do like a stream like uh, where we can like chat about like the, the worst and, and, and for example, the best or the most interesting stories from support, right? So uh, I actually want to write that down. That's actually... That would actually be really cool. Like a lot of people, like not just here in the chat, but others, like everyone worked in support or works still in support. So that's actually a cool thing. I can just imagine the kids screaming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, it's not. There was no negotiation at all. Yeah, man. I don't know. When I worked in Mera four years ago, my salary was 650 euros net. Yeah, times have changed. Yeah, but also people are not asking for it, right? So, it's, uh, again, dude, it's always how, how you sell yourself, right? So, I don't know. Uh, okay, let's continue on our, uh, <clears throat> on our path. Oh, vision of the past, okay, it grants a vision to the past. Oh, dude, I didn't need to go into the dungeon at all. Uh, of course I didn't. That's, that's, that's me. Not looking at anything properly and just running, just doing Leroy Jenkins. I had much better salaries in other call centers and new project and what's not, and what not. I tried trust, I tried trust me. Oh, dude, man. Sorry to hear that. Oh man, I got some stories. 30 minutes to find the enter key on a keyboard. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah, 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 Oh, good lord. Yeah, Popke actually told me, like, for me, that's the best story I heard in my life, where, uh, uh, actually, Popke, if you don't mind, uh, maybe it's better if you type it in the chat, but uh, basically, from what I remember, uh, the, the, they were providing support for McDonald's in Canada, and... Um, he was speaking with the with the person on the phone and the person was like talking about like cash register or whatever and then at some at some moment she was like travis the bear is back 
basically there was a bear in front and, and, and again that was so funny because of course man here like in serbia like you know like everything is urban you would never you would never have a bear there right and uh, like i think the uh, mcdonald's in canada that particular one like was somewhere very far like into the wilds and like the bear is back i laughed so much when i heard that it was so funny to me but again of course i i, I butchered the story now right i of course i don't know all the details and i forgot a little bit but it was so funny uh it's fine i just think the times are different for people who start working call centers today there are so many people that are applying so the payments have dropped ah it's uh yeah yeah man that's also you need to be in the in the dead mines i need to be in the dead mines okay let me enter the dead mines and then i'll just uh i, I won't go and kill anything oh yeah that's a thing here bears just kind of wander around yeah northern yeah, maybe, maybe for you, like, it's a bit more normal since, you know, you're, you're living, like, in a bit of a more rural area. But, like, you know, here we don't have that. And when, we heard, when I heard that, like, it was it was so funny. I, I mean, in a very positive way. Like, the bear is back. I laughed so much. Um, even in cities. <laughs> oh, my God. So, I have a friend that used to work for the phone company in, in collections department. She called late accounts. She called someone in the is is in West Virginia, so picture the accent. Picture oh is in West Virginia, so picture the accent. Lady answers. They're talking. Then the lady yells, "Irvine, get your finger out of that dog's ass, <laughs> and then just keep talking like normal." <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is that is that is disgusting. That is disgusting. Oh my gosh. I think this story is like first place. Oh, we're definitely going to do something. Um uh, save your stories. We're actually going to do like a, a like a night with um like just chatting about these kind of things and then we're going to rank the stories and we're going to make like a top top 3 or top 5 stories list. Uh, I, I cannot believe, like, what do you even do at that point? I, I don't know. If I would hear that on the phone, I, I would freeze. I, I would freeze, honestly. It's ridiculous. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. And don't take me wrong when I say, uh... <clears throat> Uh, like, um, uh, remember your story is like, to, to not share them now, absolutely, please feel free to share. But we're definitely gonna do like a night of something and then like make a list of like top five stories. And just, uh, just have that, like that, that's just amazing. I have some CompuServe stories for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I still can't, like, I literally wouldn't know what to do in that, uh, at that point. Like, if I would hear something like that. I I don't know. It's it's disgusting and it's terrible and it's ridiculous and stupid and yeah, it has a lot of attributes. It's like a level 50 dumb story. Wow. Wow. I I I don't know. Oh man, Lee has some funny ones like that too. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would seriously, that is, I don't know, it's, it's... It's really terrible. The only thing I can say is poor dog. Poor, poor dog. <sighs> Good lord. Wait, where do I go now? I lost myself. Oh, it's here. Okay. So I'm gonna just enter and then I have an actionable button incense burner to go into a vision. So let's actually do that. Good lord. I mean, with those kind of stories, honestly, I really didn't have like some very specific or 
like funny or gross like that, honestly. Wow. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, and by the way, I actually forgot to show you the two last uh, figurines that I have, like from Assassin's Creed. I'll do that later, once I finish with the game. Sadly, I can't share any stories about my current job due to confidentiality. Yeah, absolutely. That'll, absolutely, that's absolutely understandable. Let's just say anything you can do on the phone, I've interpreted anything. What? Oh my gosh. Why can't I do anything? Uh, oh my gosh. Oh wow, dodge a critical strike, nice. Ever so plate, plate legend, leggings. Uh, it gives me mastery, yeah, I don't need this. Uh, why cannot I do... So, okay, so I need to do this as a part of... So I need to do this as a part of... Uh, of the quest. Okay, I need to go back. I also need to repair. I need to see a uh, a blacksmith and a trader. Yeah, oof, I can imagine <laughs> anything. Good lord. And again, that's right. That's always the thing. Like, yeah, it's good. Like, you can have a job and you can have something to eat and, like, sure. But if that kills you, like, spiritually, what's the point, then, of having something to eat, right? What's the point of being alive outside when you're dead on the, on the inside, right? I mean, I don't know. Ah, <sighs> yeah, support. But yeah, check what you said, like, Serbia is like Europe's India. Dude, in India, people, I, I... Like, we have colleagues in India. And we also have customers that are Indian, right? It's very tough to... To... To communicate. To do business, to do anything, to be honest. Like, it's very tough. Uh, is it here? Don't get me wrong. I love, love, love my job. Just can be rough. Oh, just can be rough sometimes. Oh, uh, that's actually good. That's actually good. If you're, if you're, oh, did I fall down? Come on. If you're, if, if you're loving the job, that, that's actually good. That's actually good. I, I don't love my job anymore. Like, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of people. I'm tired of. I'm just tired. I would like to have like at least one year of being able not to work at all. But unfortunately that is impossible to have. Like I don't have my own place, like I pay the rent. Uh I cannot go like I don't have like a situation where I can go like to mommy and daddy or whatever. Um So yeah. Basically if I stop working, it's bye bye. It's back to the trash can, right? I mean back, I never was at the trash can, luckily. But uh, yeah, I, I I just cannot cannot do that. So like I've been really struggling like the last last several weeks, but especially like the last week, I am really struggling at, at staying at my first job. My second job is actually very cool. It's of course it's 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 online. I mean the first job is also currently I'm doing it online, but usually because of the the Corona stuff. But usually it's. Um, like working from an office, and I have a I have a great team of people with me and, and and awesome awesome people and that's everything. But like, that's in Serbia, right? But like my peers in India and the US and everything that's going going around and everyone just putting everything on the support managers. I'm I'm just so tired of that. Like, 
And I know, like, that, that feeling is not gonna go away, right? From my experience, once I start thinking and looking for different jobs, that's it. I'm gonna leave the company at, at, at some moment. But the problem is, I'm also tired of changing companies. Second, you know, every company is like that. Just the details are different. And yeah, so... Okay, let, let's uh, let's do some dun some more dungeons. Uh, Forty thousand. Yeah, cool. Oh, actually, no. First, I need to. I'm gonna leave the queue. I need to find a. Let's do this. I'm going to do the townsfolk. Uh, repair. I need to find a repair man. Here we go. Okay, I can sell this. I can sell this. Pauldrons, I can sell this as well. Nice horse, I hate you. Oh, don't hate me. You can actually get this horse. Yeah, the horse is, the horse is actually very nice. It's actually the only... Um, one of the only mounts that actually makes sense for a paladin. And not like Retribution Paladin, like all in red and everything. I mean, there are others. Like, the only other one that I like for me personally is... Um, unfortunately, it's a store mount. Uh, I think it's somewhere... I forgot the name, but it's somewhere below. Wing Guardian. Wing Guardian Leviosa. Yeah, this one, right? Like fiery light. I like this one. Yeah. Why did I think it was the headless horseman's? Oh no 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 no! It was not. It's the uh, class order mount that you get from basically a class order. Uh, you, so you need you need to do your order hall uh, uh, chain uh, like tra ch chain quest line, and also you need to do like the. Um, um, breaching the tomb achievement in Legion, like for each and every class, and then at that point, once those two things are done, you get like a quest line for for grabbing this one. <laughs> you can hate me for that. <laughs> oh yeah, check you got one. Nice, nice man, nice dude. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I like I, I like this one, and I really like that you can actually have different colors, right? So. We go collections and high lord, and I like because you can you can also like match your sets. This is also very nice. The purple reins and then like the bluish at the legs. I really like this one as well. I like all of them. Uh, then we have this one, which is a bit more like silverish with red. And then we have the silver purple one, which is also very nice. But for my current transmog, this one is the closest to to the coloring, right? If you get it on Pally, can other tunes use it? Unfortunately, stop! I'm not playing again. <laughs> uh, yeah, the mounts kill me as well. That's that's why I also play, but uh, not all mounts. Not all mounts. Um, yeah, other paladins can use this mount once you open it up. But, you cannot use it like on a different class. So any paladin that you, that you take, they're gonna be able to, uh, to, uh, to ride it, right? Which makes sense on the other hand, on one hand. On the other hand, I'm like, dude, why just don't you just like unlock it for everyone, right? Um, the transmog, like the heritage armor that I, that which is the reason why I'm leveling up this Paladin. Um, this Light for Junai, actually, uh, even though the class is Paladin, is because they have very nice heritage armor, but unfortunately only... Well, once you get it, I don't think you can trans... Check! Uh, am I correct on this? Like, once you get it, you cannot actually transmog... do a transmog on a different uh, race, apart from the one who owns the heritage, right? I think so, right? Yeah. 
Yes, only that face, yeah. Which is, again, a little bit of, you know, yeah. I don't like that, but what can you do? Um, I mean, they should open it up, really. They should open it up so that you can match up everything with anything you want. Like, seriously. Um, okay, let's uh, let's get back to this guy and let me start selling everything that I don't need. Um, I don't need this thing. Don't need this thing. This is for tailoring. I'm not sure if my if my mage has it, so I'm gonna save this necklace. Ah, uh, critical and haste. Oh. Oh. Okay. Critical and haste. Um, I'm gonna keep this one. I definitely want this. This gives case, but you lose a lot of other stuff. No. Uh, this is a quest item. Silver ore. Wrist guard, or wrist guards. Versatility only. No. Cheese. I don't need incense burner. This is a quest item. Magnetite. Mirror. Okay, so now it gives, of course, less. You lose haste, but it when you use it, it increases your strength by 54 for 15 seconds. I'm gonna actually keep this one just in case. Uh, I have another satchel. Yeah, uh, plate armor. Oh, this kill. Yeah, but I lose haste a lot in this one. Nope. This will need to go as well. Again, I disagree. Of course. And that's totally fine. My main used to be a pally till Cataclysm, then I switched to Hunter. Oh, nice though. So what was the last... Uh, what was the last uh, expansion that you played? Wait, what did they sell? Uh, critical strike versatility, no. All good. I don't need these. Wooden staff. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I lose too much haste. And I really need haste. Like, without top gear, I, 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 I need haste for, for my pally. If everyone can have everything is just worthless, this is what has been happening more and more with WoW, which is why a lot of old school players are running away from it. Uh, I mean, I totally understand why someone would feel like that, but I don't feel it like that, to be honest. Because in order to, to for you to open everything to everyone, right, you need to play that class to open that stuff for everyone else. Because you're a new player, you have nothing to lose. Yeah, exactly. No, but seriously, like, you still need to go, like, through, through the whole thing, right? So why would that be... And, dude, I'm not talking about, like, PvP gear or something. But even then, like, dude, just transmog, like, heritage armor and things like that, right? I agree, like, somewhat to, like, in PvP, like, for your achievements, why should anyone have that as well? Okay, th that's fine, but like, for example, heritage armor? Why wouldn't I have like, Drenai heritage armor on a human? That That's what I'm all, all, all talking about. I did Warlords? Oh, nice. We can't agree about this. Okay. My opinion, remove transmog completely. What the fuck, man? How the crap does that make sense? What do you mean? Why is it heritage then? Doesn't matter. Why wouldn't a human take take up those, right? Just make up a story, right? Say like, well, you know, Light for Junai gave it to me, right? Go back to ESO? No, I'm not going back to ESO. Stop being an old player, right? Adapt, change. <laughs> uh, do I have a clan? It is not ready yet. It is uh, not ready yet. Let me grab the appearance for this. 
to remove transmog i mean i understand why you why you want that but to be honest then the game would suck for me at least like transmog and mounts is something i really like about the game i know but these stories makes me want to quit this game again nothing about you by the way this is general mindset nowadays and these stories makes me want to quit the game this game again yeah i again i can understand why i feel like that i know but that's thing like you, i don't know this no let me just finish this so i can uh, sorry so that i can and then we can go back to the conversation i just need to finish this uh so that i can like queue up just wanna uh great sword uh, no although oh yeah i would lose a lot of haste Ooh. Ooh, this is good versatility and mastery but i would lose five strength uh i'm gonna keep this just in case then I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. Mastery, mastery, mastery. Mm. Kind of use the horde crazy in your primary stat for 30. Uh, and I'm probably not gonna use it, but it doesn't matter. 13 strength and 19 critical. Uh, this is not too bad. Ooh. I would lose critical, but I would gain haste, mastery, indestructible. Oh, absolutely! I'm, I'm taking on these gloves, man. And I think these got are gauntlets that you gave me, Chen. Thanks, man. Uh, okay, I, yeah, I, I think I think I have enough space. Um, okay, let's go back. Um, now I would check on this. non pelly are not worthy. Ah, uh, yeah, I agree. But again, if if that's gonna be a class thing, okay, right? But character armor, it's tied only to this race, right? So yeah, maybe just make it like uh, class armor or whatever. Okay, now I can queue up, find group, and let me see, do we have any other missions, like, in the meantime? Rest and relaxation, what? What is this lol? Okay, um, in the meantime, let's just double check if there are any other missions. Okay, so this is for the dungeon. Visions of the past uncovered. Enter the Defias hideout and follow the trail of homeless to Deadmines dungeon. Enter the Deadmines dungeon and use the instance burner to see into the past. Vision of the past. But yeah, when, when I entered the dungeon, I wasn't able to do this, so... I mean, I wasn't able to click on it, right? So... So this is also a dungeon. Darkshore. Um... Yeah, let's do Darkshore. Sure. Take the portal from Storm into Darkness. Okay. Let's go help the Night Elves. Um... Okay. Yeah, so yeah, again, I understand. At least, I, I am trying to understand. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, that, that's how it is. Like, companies also want to make money. And, of course, you need new players, right? You cannot live off of, like, a handful of, of I mean, handful, yeah. Like, you need new players every year, right? So, new kids are gonna play and everything, and... Of course, the newer the players are... They, the, the more they give a crap, they don't give a crap for these kind of things, right? So, I understand. Okay. 
in terms I understand that unfortunately I don't give a damn ab about it to be honest and I understand it because I'm a new player it's <laughs> can't do much about it apart from playing more and more right to start getting things and then check if you cut ties with twitch does that mean your emotes go away oh yeah does it Oh, that's too bad, man. Um, please use the portal. Okay. Tell Drassel. Oh, okay. Luckily, it's still before it was burned down by um, Sylvanas. Let me grab this. And let's see where the missions are. Uh, actually, we have Zen's Bidding and Tides of War. Um, let's do this one, Zen's Bidding. I think Tides of War I already played. Wait, is there a portal inside here? That I can take? Oh, I think I need to go inside here. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, this is so beautiful here. And of course, the dungeon is ready. So let's go into the dungeon. Yeah, I think uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna level up to 50 after this. Woohoo! Someone has declined. Oh no. Actually, I think this is the first time I'm seeing little Drussel here. It looks amazing. Tradesman stairs. Ah, uh, the, the standard, the classical night elven buildings. I love these. Purple and gold. Classic. Classic. Yeah, the emotes go away. Yeah, man, that's such a shame. <sighs> the entire process is very painful. I really don't understand. How is it possible that it's painful? Like they're making problems about it. Like it should be easy, man. I don't understand that at all. The lol. But perhaps, like, I mean, if you're, how do you say, it, like contract bound, then I don't know. Wait, I cannot. Am I gonna get kicked out of the server? I cannot grab the mission. Let me, let me type them. Can someone share the mission? I can't pick it up. Oh yeah, it's finally... Oh, here we go. Oh, nice, and you get some items. Cool. Oh, losing everything is emotionally painful. Oh, okay, man. Yeah, yeah, Hold on soon. I thought, like, process-wise, they're... That's freaking, freaking life. Freaking life. I'm vanished. Ooh. Invulnerable but unable to act alone. Hug? Yeah. Yeah, sorry, sorry, man. That is BS. And that's also the reason why actually I'm looking into like uh, like multi-streaming to different platforms. I, I don't want to be tied to Twitch, man. Especially with all the, the things that are happening and like somewhat knowing your story, like dude, it's... no.
never done this dungeon. Where is this? You know? So, whom are we fighting? You know? want to see the vortex pinnacle i've never seen this dungeon it looks cool with strong wind. Nice. I'm 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 blocked. I'm blocked. <laughs> I'm losing myself. I'm banished now. Okay. Okay do clean. Cool. Okay, we have a. Like, what is this? Opening? Over. Oh, okay, so this is something I don't have. Okay. Can I even hit this? Is this even attacking? No. Hello. Banished again. So, do we have a pally here? Warlock, an elf priest, a human paladin, and a monk. Okay, so if I switch to Retribution Aura, yeah, okay, we still have the. Uh, Yep, okay, cool. It's gonna be more useful with the Retribution Aura, since we already have, like, uh... Mega Elf. Dude, 73.6k. What is this guy? Hand of Gul'dan? Warlock? What kind of warlock is he? Uh, 
inspect demonology wallet. Dude. Can I stop this? No, I'm dead. I probably had to go inside, right? Rip. Rip, rip, rip. This was... I was retarded, did do it properly. see this boss these bosses let's see what what can we get from these guys uh, oh reigns of the drake of the north oh nice maybe we can get them out from here woohoo so and this is from this Altarius, right yeah. now we are fighting the grand vizier first uh, yeah i'll check these later Reigns of the Drake of the North Wind. Well, let's see if we can get something. Would be cool. Yeah. Haste, mastery, critical. Yeah, these definitely need to be changed one like when I'm like top gear. Basically critical strike goes first. The case is also very good to have as well. Mastery gives you like holy damage buff, I mean boost, so. Okay. Let's see if they're gonna res me or if I will need to release. Yeah, he'll res me. These guys are good. You. Come on. Nope, nothing. Rip. Boy, but I'm so slow. Here we go. I really like this dungeon. Looks really nice. Try the um, the demonology warlock at all. I tried the um, uh, destruction one. It was okay. I tried affliction one. Actually, I leveled up in affliction one, and I liked it a lot. But I haven't touched demonology. So. Oh no! Actually, uh, no. We already no no no. So for, from this boss, we can get the mount. Okay. We're, we're still good. Demo is fun, but you need better rig for it. Like it spawns so many minions now. Better rig? <laughs> yeah, man, I need to update my rig, man. I, I'm not happy. I need to get the new, uh, the new graphics card. This one is definitely not enough. So someone either died, and no, I have also died. But yeah, this guy died, and I got the um, Avenging Wrath. It's literally FPS killer, and I'm not talking about your rig, just in general. Oh, okay, okay, okay. FPS killer. Wow. Spawn so many minions, dude. I need to to test it out to see how that works. I mean, that's yeah, demonology.
I'm dying too much, man. I'm... Yeah, there's a lot of minions. Look at this. She's a holy priest. Oh, she cannot do like a mass resurrection? No? Dude, look at this. Lol. Look at this demon army. <laughs> oh, this is cool. It feels more like something we were crying for for years but never got. A necromancer. Oh, okay. Cool. Wait, what happens? So we don't need to kill this, no? But what is this guy doing? I didn't see. Okay, so, the young storm dragon. Okay, so we're gonna do ads first. On well, next boss, make sure the wind is on your back for haste boost. Okay, guys help, I want to try Ritual of Doom, I don't get it, press it after mob tank, okay, let me, let me, uh, let me kill these. Okay, I can die, no problem. So it's gonna kill us? Wait, what? Wanna try Ritual of Doom? I don't get it. Press it after mob. Tank. I mean, it just kills one of us. But I get a Doom card pet for 15 minutes, I think. Well, fuck your pet, man, if someone's gotta die, right? I don't understand. Like, So, so I won't be able to play until the Doom card pet is on? What? Wait, why do we need to kill? Do we need to kill it now? Dude, what's going on? We're not supposed to kill it? I dude, I don't know. This is the first time I, I see this uh, ability. Well. You have an enslaved... Oh, what a weird ability. Yeah, maybe he has to... Okay. Strange. I have to check on the internet like, how, this, how that works, actually. Oh, so he has to enslave it. Lol. That's actually a cool mechanic. Stack on tank? Okay. Or melee. Melee. I like that word. 
<laughs> there was a TikTok video, like the word Q, Q U E U E. And someone did a video like, okay, so how I pronounce it, like Q, but like how my brain reads it, Kuewe. <laughs> that was so funny. It's actually really like that, Kuewe. Okay. Pressed early. What? Boing, boing. Come on. So, what kind of pet is this? Like this head. <laughs> Gnome Gallop. Hell scream. Okay, what are we waiting for? the ability yet to create a health pool like a health stone altar for everyone oh is she our healer yeah oh interesting so he put the soul stone on her instead of a tank okay interesting kabura he's a paladin a pally Luck of the draw, increase damage done by 15%, healing done by 15%, healed by 15% whenever you use a dungeon tool to find a place for a group. Oh, nice. Oh, but seriously, now, whom are we waiting? And where is the other player? What is he doing? Always oh, also on the healer because they can resurrect the others. All healers can. Oh, okay. Okay, then that makes sense. No, but wait, like, uh, do all healers have battle breaths? Not battle res. but like they, they cannot res other players while during combat, right? So, for example, I'm talking about situation. Let's say. You put a soul stone on the healer and we're beating the boss and the tank dies. What happens? If there's a wipe, they can get up and res the entire group. Oh, okay. So for, for, for that one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Understood now. Okay, so I just need to be... Oh, nice. Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> this is very nice. Ooh. No, uh, no mount. Close. 
If winds are behind your back, you get haste and hit like crazy. Yeah, man, that, that was amazing. Oh, imagine have that, having... Imagine the game breaking at that point where you would have that kind of haste all the time. Why doesn't the game break in that kind of way? Why does it always break in other ways that are not fun? Although Rex Troy always finds a way to uh, <laughs> to find those little nuisances where... Like how they found the... Um, like that elemental that you could summon like in uh, Cool Tears <laughs> that wasn't scaled down. After the uh, level squish, that was so ridiculous. Oh, Ruski, welcome, welcome, man. Brother, you're finally on long enough so that I can catch a glimpse when I'm awake. Hey, hey K-Man, welcome, welcome. Yeah, man, yeah. I'm definitely gonna, gonna stream a bit longer, man. The game does not really break, to be honest. Yeah, I know, man. Yeah, that we, which is great. You will be rooted, so save your blessing of freedom. You're orange icon for that. Okay. Yeah, welcome, welcome, Ruski. Good to have you, man. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna try streaming also during mornings um, on weekends, right? During during weekdays, unfortunately, of course, I cannot because of work. I'll try to do it over weekends as well. Right? And more streaming won't kill me. It's good for practice and also to chill. Right? Good. And by the way, check what you mentioned for the Blessing of Freedom. Uh, is that like for the last boss or...? Oh, you missed the message about the boss mechanic. Oh, sorry, man. Uh... Wait, what? Oh, last, in, last boss, it's important to stand inside the fi lightning triangle. Oh, okay. So, wait. Wait, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, good. Sorry, man. Yeah, I missed it. <laughs> it would be rude to save your blessing of freedom. Okay, man. Yes, last boss, which is the next one, okay? 148, yeah. Verified, verified, just check. Last boss, it's important. Yep, okay, man, thanks. <laughs> yeah, man, still learning to uh, multitask, like play and reach out. But I'm stunned. I don't want to use any any abilities to get out of it for now. I need to be quick. I don't have, unfortunately, I don't have the blessings uh, keybinds. So oops. Wait, what? Oh, it's still not the last boss. Okay. Well, verified is the name of the dead checkmark icon. I just copy pasted all soon. Not verified, just check. <laughs> oh man, it's, it's bullshit, man. Freaking Twitch. There's enough time. Just memorize where the blessing is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Anything. What? 
Oh, here we go. Dude, it lagged. Or does it actually stay, or do I need to stay within it? Lol. Okay. Maybe I need to stay within it. Okay. Cool. Oh. Oh. Boom, baby. Assad. Okay, well, stand inside triangle. It says the when it creates it. Okay. You tread up. No. Okay. Kubura. Okay. Cool. Circle here. Okay. Oh, Ruski, thanks for following, man. Thanks for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Whoops. Is there a triangle somewhere? No. Oh, we need to kill these. Of course. Okay, got in the triangle. Kill these. What is he? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna heal myself. So, where is he gonna make the triangle? There? Okay, here we go. I forgot about that one. Hey, hey no, no worries, man. No worries, no worries. Thanks, thanks, man. Close one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's running cool so far. So far. Don't want to jinx it, but... Uh... able to kill it no Romakai crystal oh dude we're gonna we need to okay let's get him kill 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 Well, a uh, woohoo. And a level 50. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Very nice, very nice. Uh, where do we go and do... Wait, where? What? Let's see is if this is going to bring us to the beginning. Uh, everyone's coming there. World teleport to given quests. Yeah, congrats on 50. Thanks, man. Yeah, I suspect this is the one, right? Yep. Awesome. Oh! Heritage of the Light Forged. Oh yeah, baby. Finally. Finally. Good lord. Okay. Uh, dodge, critical, and haste. But I would lose strength and stamina. No. For holy? Five gold, five gold, fifty-three gold. Yeah, let's. let's oops, I'm, I'm gonna sell this. So. Ooh. 
GG for everyone. Thanks for group. Thanks for... TFG, not this one. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the instance. Yeah, the game is lagging a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, the future of Ezra needs you to protect it, Gavin, and I'm gonna kick your booty in 50 seconds outside of the time walking campaign. So say goodbye to your quests, to everything, to Sure, no problem at all. Um talents? Yes, please. Sanctified Wrath. Avenging Wrath lasts twenty five percent longer. Usually power spend cause you to explode with holy light. Oh that was from Light Secret, I think. The uh, exploding part. Crusades. This is something I used before. Increasing your damage and haste by 3% for 25 seconds. For each holy power spent during crusade, increases damage and haste by an additional 3%. So this is cool. And this is basically something that I would use where I wouldn't need a lot of haste. But I would basically put like a lot of critical. So... I'm gonna go for a walk, depending on my state after, I might show up in max stream. If not, please say hi to him for me. Sure do, man. This chromy thing is shit. Yeah. Yeah, man. Thanks for joining and, uh, yeah. Speak with you later, man. Absolutely. Check shaking his cane. Get off my lawn! <laughs> yeah. Uh... Okay, so let's go and pick up our, uh, heritage armor. Oh, Sanctified Wrath. Uh, I don't know. 20 seconds, but how long is it? 25% longer. So that will be... 30 seconds more? What? I know it's from 20 seconds. Dude, I'm looking at the 2 minutes. Good lord, I'm, I'm st stupid. I don't know, this Crusade looks better, I think. I'm just gonna pick Crusade. Um, okay. So, let's go. Actually, since there's probably zombies inside. I'm gonna do this. Wait. I'm struggling to walk around. That's how bad this Rona thing hit me. And last three years of sitting in this chair. Yeah, man. So, I'm worse than a grandpa. Yeah, man, this situation is killing everyone, dude. Especially, like... If we're spending so much time in the chairman. It's ridiculous. Um, Dalaran Hearthstone? Yeah, let's go to Dalaran. And then we can take um, uh, that portal to Vindicar. Yeah, man. Have a, have a good walk, man. Have a good walk. Enjoy. And uh, thanks for dropping by, man. Speak with you later. Well... Oh my gosh, I'm finally getting my heritage armor for life for Junai. And it's the shoulder the shoulders are big. And especially when you put it on a life for Junai, who already has like massive shoulders, it looks amazing and massive and Oh, it's actually in Stormwind next to the embassy. Yeah, yeah, because I don't have opened the portal to the Vindicar since I needed to do the oh I need to open the Argus quest line, so uh, but from what I remember, it's next to the Stormwind Embassy, uh, the uh, the portal to the uh, you know like home of these allied races. So, fuck it, I'm not giving up. I've set up makeshift bench and lifting some weights again. Oh, nice man, awesome! And walking each night, even when I don't feel like it, like today for example. I'm gonna win and get back to jogging. Actually, I miss it so much and can't wait for it. Yeah, man. Good luck, man. Good luck with that. Fingers crossed, and you know, stay strong. Love you all. See you around. See you around, man. Thanks for everything. Uh, okay, let's just hope. No. Oh, okay, the zombie is the the pet. Oh my gosh, I thought the zombie was here. But there, yeah, you can actually see the uh, the zombie bodies. They look horrendous. Well, at least I have my um, bubble in case they attack me. 
and then I can get on my either I can oh I, actually I cannot use the Dalaran stone after that so um, so let's go to the Stormwind Embassy here and let's go to Vindicar to take to take my heritage armor I'm so happy like I really like it it's very nice and I'm so happy that I'm done with this uh, pally I love pallies don't get me wrong but uh, definitely for leveling nope okay baby give me my armor man Greetings, duty, honor, sacrifice. The Light Forge strive to embody these qualities. You have done so with aplomb. Sorry if I didn't pronounce it well. It is my pleasure to award you with a symbol of your service, Gavant, the heritage of the Light Forge. Collect the appearances of the heritage of the Light Forge. Complete quest. Boom, baby. Oh yeah. Be safe, check. Yeah, stay safe, man. Oh yeah. Oh, and I get 20 points, achievement points. Cool, cool. Heritage of the Life Forge. Oh yeah, baby. So now, what we're gonna do is, of course, change our transmog. But for that to happen, I need to get out of this place. I don't think there's a transmog vendor here. So I'm gonna go to Stormwind. And I'm gonna jump on my yak, the Grand Expedition yak. Right. And uh, yeah, let's uh, light forge. Oh, this is the one, wait, set heritage oh yes baby but with a big ass sword man with a big ass sword yes let's see this let's see this baby oh my god look at these shoulders good lord this armor looks awesome It is absolutely awesome. Oh, actually, is there a cape for this? Let me check the capes. Although, I wouldn't know. Yeah. Let's see. Light. No. To be honest, what was that one that I was using? Carmen Scarlet Onslaught Key. What about this one? No, definitely not. Um, where was that one that I used before? Oh, it's here. Twisted. I mean, no. No, no, no. It has some elements that match, but no. Absolutely not. No. Eh. This one? Oh, this one actually matches. This one, well, almost matches, right? Like with these elements here. Yeah. Actually, this matches. But I really like this one as well. Like just the white, right? Although nothing else is white apart from his hair. But uh, yeah, let's actually try this one. Apply, save. Alrighty then. Yeah, it's actually, uh, it's still clipping like the sword and everything. But... Oh my gosh, I love this. This is amazing. Let's pray. Thank you, Light, for allowing me to level to 50 finally. And grabbing my heritage armor and I'm gonna 
take out my mounts collection list and I'm gonna take my light forged warframe and get to my warframe oh yeah baby This is great. Well, I'm happy. It looks very Dwemer from Skyrim. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Actually, let me get on, uh, like, on a tower somewhere, and then we can check the armor there. I think it, it's it has a bit more light. Hey, by the way, Ruski, like, what time is it right now for you? Like here, it's 2:10 a.m. my time. What time is it at your place? Actually, there's someone here, so let's get on that tower there. Okay. Yeah, it's actually, yeah, it actually really looks like Dwemerish a bit, right? It's actually very nice. I really like them. Like the shoulders are amazing, just amazing. Let me check if uh, 9 a.m. about to head into office. Oh, it's so it's seven hours of difference between you and. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um. Let me actually want to change to, let's say, a mace. Ooh, dude, this mace <laughs> looks amazing. Right? Right? I mean, it doesn't match like 100%, but 99%. Oh yeah, baby. This is what I'm talking about. It pairs? Yeah. I like it. And I also like you get the book with it. And the actual book really go goes really nicely with the armor. Really, really nicely. Oh, man. I love this, man. Look at this. This is just amazing. Uh... And unfortunately, I cannot get this on my human paladin, unfortunately. So, I'll need to play the life for Junai as a paladin. Looks amazing. Well, if I get on my horse, I mean, it doesn't go that much, but yeah, I think it's time for this baby. Let's do mount special. Oops, oh, do, 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 do. no, 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 no. Didn't uh, accept my command. Okay, slash mount special. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, awesome. So, I'm gonna uh, wrap it up for tonight. Thanks everyone for joining. I'm having a good time. Uh, it was really fun uh, tonight. So I'm actually gonna put this up on YouTube, absolutely, for everyone who wasn't able to see, especially for Dell, per her request. I'm gonna put it, the, especially for the first part, uh, like where I was showing my, my toys. Um, and yeah, uh, thanks, Tails. Yeah, thanks, thanks so much, Ruski, for joining. Really happy that you were able to join finally. Uh, Thank you also for the fun evening. Yeah, Popke, thanks, thanks, thanks a lot, man. Thanks to everyone who joined. I really appreciate all the support uh, and, you know, like time we're hanging out. So very cool. And yeah, basically see you tomorrow at the same time, 10 p.m. CET for p.m. EST. I'll probably be um, maybe um, uh, making the stream even longer after 2 a.m. my time um, since it's Friday and I'm not going to work on Friday. And yeah, basically, you know, have a good evening, good day, good morning. Uh, and yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.